Welcome to Fanfiction Audiobook. Marble. The Fruit of the Opening Surgery. Chapter 81. Wu Lu watched the sky go higher and higher, and felt the wheel of fate turning as the spaceship flew farther and farther. Tony, this is life. Let's continue. Quote. It was 8 o'clock after changing cups and cups, and Wanda finally met her brother. Before the two of them could talk much, Donna answered a phone call and hurried to Wu Lu. Dear, my brother was in a car accident. Now in the people's hospital, I must go there. I will go with you. Helen, Wanda and Mindy, please take care of me. Tony, I have to leave now. Quote. Go, Wu. Ms. Donna, you don't need to worry too much. You know very well what Wu's medical skills are. As long as there is still breath, your brother will be fine. Quote. Donna forced a smile. Mr. Tony, thank you for your comfort. I'm sorry. I'll take my leave now. My dear, let's go. Tony, why don't you give us a ride? Tony Stark said angrily. I know you, Jarvis, put on the mark armor for Mr. Wu and Ms. Donna, sent them to the People's Hospital, and then manipulated them to find Roddy. He knew how to hand over these rags. Quote. Okay sir. Kukaka. There was a sound of armor transforming, Mark IV and Mark V were armed on Wu Lu and Donna, and the two soared into the sky and flew straight to the People's Hospital. Teacher. How am I doing? I have no feeling in my hands now. Did you use anesthesia on me? But my consciousness is very clear. Quote. Strange, relax, it's nothing serious. You are safe, we have notified your sister and good friend Mr. Wu Lu, they will be here soon. Quote. But my hands. Tutor, you know how gorgeous my knife skills are, and I can handle any kind of surgery. I am almost as good as Mr. Wu Lu in this aspect. I'm very aware of my body perceptions, but I can't feel them. Quote. Strange's head was fixed with a plaster and he could not move back and forth. He could only look at the ceiling and keep thinking. It's a bit like Shonglin's wife who keeps nagging. I'm so stupid, really. Nurse, give him a shot. He's too talkative. Okay, professor. Teacher, you can't do this, hoo-hoo. Strange's mentor looked at him with pity. His hands were completely broken from the wrists, and they were empty. The two palms were smashed into pulp in the car accident. According to current technology, perfect prosthetics can be made to replace the original palm work. However, he was afraid that he would never be able to work as a doctor again. Brother, strange, brother, where are you? Ma'am, this is a hospital, you can't make any noise. I'm looking for my brother, strange. He was in a car accident. I have to see him now. You are a family member, he is in Ward 0807. Thanks. Wu Lu and Donna rushed to the ward in a hurry, and at a glance they saw Strange lying on the hospital bed and sleeping soundly, and an old bald man changing into casual clothes and getting ready to leave. Are you Strange's sister, Donna? Yes, who are you and how is my brother? I was Strange's tutor at school. When he had a car accident, I happened to be consulting a patient in the people's hospital, so I came over to see him. Your brother's condition is very good and his life is not in any danger. Quote. Really. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Quote. Donna shouted happily, jumped on Wu Lu and hooked her neck. Honey, my brother is fine, it's great. But. Wu Lu asked, but what happened? Miss Donna, your brother majored in neurosurgery, you know that, right? Yes, my brother is good at this. Frogs can be dissected from an early age. Quote. That's the end of his studies. Why? Donna was in disbelief. Did my brother lose his memory and be played dumb? Where is the perpetrator? Who is it? Calm down, madam, your brother has neither amnesia nor pretending to be stupid. As for the perpetrator, he died on the spot. However, a pair of your brother's palms were amputated. They were ground into pulp and then roasted in a car accident. If they were not cut off, his life would be in danger, so I have cut them off. Quote. That's it. Donna suddenly turned from cloudy to sunny. Thank you, Mr. Doctor, it doesn't matter, as long as you are still alive, it is better than anything else. Okay, you stay with the patient. His mouth was really broken just now, so the nurse injected him with a small amount of anesthetic. He'll wake up in an hour. Quote. After Wu Lu and Donna said goodbye to Teacher Strange, they returned to the ward. Donna picked up Strange's two empty arms, turned around and asked nervously, My dear, it should be easy for you to treat such a small injury, right? 
Of course, as long as the brain is still alive, it's okay. Wu Lu held Donna in his arms and comforted him, have you forgotten how I treated you? These are all small problems. I think we should prepare a small dessert for Strange. If he wants to come, he can not only see his sensible sister, but also eat the snacks made by his sister. It will definitely be better than eating honey. Sweet. Quote. My dear, why not cure it now, so that Strange will be even more surprised when he wakes up. Come on, it only takes a sip of water for you. Quote. Nonsense. Wu Lu argued, Donna, this is a hospital, and every move we make must be in the eyes of others. Although this is a VIP ward, there are many caring people. If you behave too strangely, you may be treated as a freak. Donna, calm down, as long as your brother is taken away in time, the rest will not be a problem. Quote. At 9.10 in the evening, Strange woke up leisurely and laughed heartily when he saw his sister whom he had not seen for a long time. Sister, why are you here? And Wu, I heard that you two are together, how do you feel? My sister is both an adult and a child. Wu, please don't bully her. Quote. Brother, you should take care of your health first. Your hands are now disabled and you must be discharged from the hospital. Discharged. Disability. How is it possible? It's just that my instructor gave me an anesthetic and I'll be fine after a while. Quote. Nana, help me take off the bandage. Except for your brother's hand, nothing else is intact. Okay. The two of them were merciless, and Kata took off all Strange's bandages. He raised his hands, looked at the dark cuffs, and said in horror, Hands, where are my hands? Come on, take my hand back. Quote. Strange, who knows where your hands are? Please come back to the creator building with me now. Maybe our scientific research experts will have a solution. Let's go quickly. Let's go quickly. I also have a world-class difficult surgery, and I want to become the strongest neurosurgeon in the world. Quote. Hey, strange, no matter how strong you are, you are not as strong as me. You have super ability, it's completely different. Wu Lu and Donna snatched strange away despite the obstruction of medical staff. Quick, this way. Wu Lu had already contacted Tandal, the general secretary of the creator group, on the way. As soon as the three of them got out of the car, Wu Lu quickly shouted hello. Soon, four coffee maids pushed the medical bed, put Strange on the bed, plugged in various instruments, and pushed him to the medical room in the building. Strange looked at the turbulent scenery. Although he had never cared about these things, he couldn't help but blush. Wu, if your creation group recruits so many women, won't it affect the efficiency? These are not recruited, they are all our products. Didn't you find that their sizes are all unusually uniform? These can improve the inspiration of our scientific researchers, it's a big deal. Facts have proven that beautiful women can really improve efficiency, speed up your heartbeat, promote your blood circulation, and make your brain and body more flexible and lively. As long as you have strong self-control, you can get twice the result with half the effort. Of course, if you don't have self-control, it is a gentle knife that kills people. When we arrived at the medical room, after the coffee-loving maid left, seven or eight biomedical experts came in. Boss, this gentleman's injury is very serious. At present, based on the existing technology of our group, we can build a one-to-one -one prosthetic limb for him. It can be more flexible than ordinary people and can meet his daily life without any problem. Quote. Strange, what do you think? Strange asked, can I still be a neurosurgeon? The best kind. Ah, sir, if you are willing to study orthopedics, you should be able to do it, and it also has stability and efficiency that ordinary people can't match. But neurosurgery? I'm afraid not. Neurosurgery is almost the most difficult kind. Surgery involving the brain has no room for error. No, I can't accept this kind of prosthetic limb. There is another way to cultivate a pair of palms using this gentleman's bone marrow stem cells. With our group's current technology, we can achieve 70% of the original level. Through gradual running in, we can eventually reach 85% of the original level. There's no problem with efficiency, it's almost like rebirth. Go down, thank you for your hard work. Say hello to Dr. Connors. Quote. Okay, boss, let's take our leave. You definitely won't accept this method that only accounts for 85% of the time, right? That's right. Strange said painfully, 
Doctor, you don't know how difficult it is for me to get here step by step. Let alone 85% efficiency, even if it is 95% efficiency, I can't accept it. It is impossible for me to treat people with imperfect hands. Quote. You know my medical skills, right? Um. Then let me tell you the truth, I can perfectly splice all the biological parts known in the world, and I can also perfectly separate them, but right now, I don't have the ability to create things out of thin air. So, if you want a pair of old hands, I am H.O., I can't do it, but if you just need a pair of other hands, such as hands that can play piano, or have practiced boxing, or other skills, I can help you get them. Come. Or, you tell me a neurosurgeon who is better than you, and for the sake of Donna, I am willing to be a bad guy for once and take his hand back for you. Strange smiled bitterly and said, there is indeed a neurosurgeon who is better than me, Mr. Sims da Vinci from Italy. Currently, he is the strongest neurosurgeon in the world. However, I will not agree with you to take away his hand. His hands have saved the lives of no more than 10,000 people, including ordinary people and high-ranking officials. Anyone who touches him is an enemy of the world. Quote. Strange slowly told, it was because of him that I embarked on the path of becoming a neurosurgeon. The initial motivation was because I wanted to save Donna, but later it became my obsession. Maybe, I am not destined to be a neurosurgeon. Quote. Strange's voice grew lower as he spoke. Brother, don't be discouraged. The doctor will find a solution. Donna couldn't bear Strange falling into a trough, so she turned to Wulu and said, Dear, if there is no such hand in the world, what about hell? No, Donna, there's no way I'm going to agree to that. Wulu shook his head firmly. There is no profession like neurosurgeon in hell, and it is very dangerous. Hell, what hell? Strange, don't be nervous. This is our code word. It's talking about Madripoor Island. By the way, I can also ask Fenner. Maybe there is something the woman can do. Donna, please stay with your brother first. At least now, we are only discussing Strange's career, not life safety. If you want something to eat, you can ask the coffee maid. Quote. Wulu quickly signaled to Donna with his eyes, and she understood and stopped talking about hell. My dear, go ahead. Wulu walked out in dismay and walked to his office. As expected, Fenner was still sitting on the boss's chair with a straight face, combing his yellow hair meticulously. Fenner, have you contacted Madame Hydra recently? No. Fenner said nonchalantly, Master, I don't like the smell of reptiles on that woman. Although she has been transformed by the master to my liking, I still only like humans, master. You contact her now. Strange's palms are familiar. Ask her if there is any way to restore it to its original appearance. Remember, it is the original appearance. Master, I don't want to contact her. Fenner, this is an order. All right. Fenner reluctantly dialed the phone. Woman, do you have the skills to restore limbs? What? You won't know if you have it until you come to me. Okay. Dot you tell me now. I can mercifully ask you to come to me. What? No. If you dare to come, I will eat you. Reptile. Fenner was so angry that he disconnected the phone and turned to Wulu in a flattering manner. Master, that doesn't have such skills. Of course Wulu knew it wasn't there, and even if it was there, he wouldn't dare to use it. When the bald man came to him, he had warned him that no matter what he did, he could not change Strange's fate. Listening to that tone, Baldhead is still ready to die as a martyr, just waiting for his successor to take over the job. Returning to the treatment room, Wulu lowered his head and remained silent. Strange looked sad. Donna didn't know what to say. Maybe there was really nothing she could do. Actually, it's not completely impossible. What? Strange looked at Wulu with surprise, excitement and a little fear, fearing that he would become extremely happy and sad again. My dear, if you have any idea, please tell me immediately. According to legend, there lived a supreme mage in the holy sanctuary of Nepal. She was proficient in the principles of heaven and earth and possessed the artifact Eye of Agamotto, which could turn back time. After much thought, I think only she can completely restore your palm to its previous perfect state. If you are willing to give it a try, I can arrange a trip for you. Quote. I'm willing to try, I don't want to give up on my dream. Good. You are worthy of being my uncle. As long as you are sincere, you will definitely meet this supreme mage. 
Just wait a minute, I will call Tony and ask him to send you a ride. Quote. Tomorrow. My brother is still very weak now, and, dear, we should give my brother a prosthetic limb first to make a transition, right? Silly girl, in this case, how can Strange prove his hardships and sufferings? How can we impress the Supreme Mage? The three of them talked for a few words, and Helen Zhao came back with Ming Di, Wanda and Xu Xia Ling. Okay, Strange, you have a good rest. Donna, he has nothing to do now. Do you want to stay in Haihui Temple go with me? Donna walked up to Strange and whispered, Brother, Wu and I are leaving first. If you need anything, the coffee maid can do it, but you are not allowed to drive. Strange's face turned red and he died on the spot, burying his head in the pillow and not coming out. Nana, your brother is just an ordinary person. You should restrain yourself from the devil in front of him, otherwise he won't be able to bear it. Honey, what about you? Driving at night. Meeting up with Zhao Helen and the others, Wu Lu brought a group of women to his office and drove Fenner to the door to spread the floor. Classmate Xu Shaoling, is it okay for you to live in my office? Wu Lu's office is many times more luxurious than Connors's, and everything is of high quality. A one-stop shop for food, drink and entertainment, all top-notch in the world. Where's Mindy? I want to sleep with Mindy, is that okay? Ming Di turned around reluctantly and asked Wu Lu, is it okay? The look of hope for rescue in his eyes almost melted Wu Lu's heart. Of course, Mindy, then you can live here with classmate Xu Shaoling. What about you? Mindy asked unwillingly. Of course I'm going home. Wu Lu used his iris to open a secret door at the back of the office. This secret door was similar to the secret warehouse Stark made for himself, leading to a completely private place. The difference is that Wu Lu doesn't have the habit of collecting armors. This is a warm residence the size of two football fields. Every flower, tree, and grass is hand-picked by him and his women. There is also the super comfortable big bed and bathtub, the fun of which is beyond description. The light gauze curls up, and the beauty is like jade. Singing softly and hummingly, all night long. Xu Shaoling and Ming Di were sleeping on the big bed and watching dramas, but they were so embarrassed by the beautiful sounds that occasionally came in the wind that they couldn't control themselves. This was also a small interest deliberately left in the original design. Who knows that Wu Lu has not enjoyed it yet, but someone else has taken advantage of him first. Sister Ling, how many days will you stay here, are you really not going back? Sister Mindy, aren't you willing? Don't worry, I don't like your boyfriend. He has nothing but being rich, a little handsome, and a little talented. I come from a martial arts family. Really, I keep my word. Quote. I know that you Chinese are monogamous. He already has four women. If you still come, I have nothing to say. Who's coming? I'm not going. Quote. The two quarreled for a while, and Xu Shaoling begged for mercy. Good sister, don't do anything, I'm convinced. I confess, I confess, I came here just to see the world and see how it is different from what I imagined in the propaganda. Quote. Then what did you see? I can see that it's the same everywhere. There are good people and bad people, and the people are almost the same. They just want to live a good life, and no one is born a bad person or a good person. But the underlying rules are a little different. Quote. So do you prefer here or your hometown? Of course it's our hometown. I came here just to make some extra money, take it back and make my classmates envious. I know I know. Mindy quickly raised her hand. I heard that this is called showing off, right? You. Xu Shaoling was really speechless. This foreign girl was talking like a fool. She couldn't answer the question at all. She huddled again and fell asleep without realizing it. At dawn, before Tony got up, the call came. Wu, what's happened to you recently? I haven't had a good night's sleep in God knows how long. Tony, you are my only rich friend. You must help me with this matter. I need to send someone to Nepal immediately. Only you can do this. Well, Thank you for the compliment, Wu, I think you'd better hand over your own aircraft plan to me quickly, and I'll build it for you right away. You know, I'm not a taxi driver, for the last time. Quote. Okay, one last time. Wu Lu readily agreed. If there is no accident next time, he should be able to use the portal. The wool harvesting cannot catch the technology side. After Strange has completed his studies, he can harvest the magic side wool. Twenty minutes later, 
Tony Stark called and informed them to go to the rooftop to board the plane. Wu, I think the top floors of our buildings should be connected. It would be more convenient. A good idea, but it won't work yet. Tony's eyes widened when he saw the coffee maid pushing Strange into the cabin. Wu, these are your real high-end goods, right? They look exactly like real people, can you make a few hundred of them for me? Wu Lu smiled and said, Tony, don't you have a good idea of your own strength? I don't want to see Little Pepper get shot in the dark next time. The aircraft was not big, almost the same as an albatross, so only Donna followed, while the others went to school as usual. It is worth mentioning that Tandil has informed Wulu that Doom and Otto have already joined the company. Their current treatment is the same as that of Connors. They have their own independent office and their own R&D team. Gentlemen and ladies, are you ready to go? Yes, Jarvis. Let's set off now and aim for Nepal. Quote. The aircraft flew straight through the clouds and entered a high-altitude orbit, which allowed it to avoid the airspace of various countries. After more than an hour, Wulu felt a slight weightlessness and had not finished his cup of coffee. The hatch opens again. Gentlemen, the destination has arrived. Come on, strange, Donna. Tony, do you want to go down and play? It's not my style to come here and not go and see. Exotic hottie, here I come. Quote. Kathmandu, the capital of Nepal, has pleasant and beautiful scenery, except that there are no hot girls. The four coffee maids carrying Strange walked on the street, attracting frequent glances. Turn on the cross-dressing mode, conservative style. Yes. Following Wu Lu's order, the cafe maids thigh length lace skirts turned into long coarse cloth skirts, and the lobby dresses that could almost vaguely see the mountains and ravines turned into tight floral jackets. Oh my god, how did you do that? With nanorobots and memory metal, their clothes are actually a piece of equipment. Wu, good brother, when you go back, you must share this technology with me. It's so cool. The clear water, blue sky, and snowy sky connect Wu Lu, Strange and Tony, standing next door to the vast expanse of land, overlooking the local sacred mountain, the Himalayas. Here we are, right here. Strange, the legendary supreme mage is nearby. She knows everything and is omnipotent, so the next step is up to you. Quote. Don't worry, doctor, I will definitely be able to do it. My belief is extremely firm. Donna, do you have anything else to say to your brother? I don't know how long it will be before we see each other again. Donna suppressed the sadness in her heart and shook her head with a smile. When it was difficult to say goodbye, Wulu understood her thoughts very well. Then let's get ready to go. After Wu Lu finished speaking, when he came to his senses, all the people around him disappeared, and he arrived in a world as dark as ink, with billowing black mist covering the world, rolling in with pressure. There seems to be a thin film underfoot protecting a piece of pure land. Where is this? Wu Lu opened the surgical field and protected himself. Master, I didn't mess with you, please let me out quickly. Ha ha, young man, don't be impatient. A bald woman is reflected in the space like a mirror image, seemingly real and illusory, do you know where this is? I don't know, and I don't want to know. Didn't we agree that if we don't mess with the river, I won't mess with you, and you won't mess with me? Why, you want to break your promise and get fat? What can you do if I really break my promise? The bald woman smiled and continued, I don't know where you come from or where you are going. Even if you are in your own field, I can't do anything to you. But you are only a mortal, you will be hungry and lonely, and your soul is not strong. If I sealed you for a thousand years, do you think you could survive the boundless loneliness or the eternal seal? What do you think? Ha ha ha, it's just a joke, you won't take it seriously, right? Mage Ancient One, this kind of joke is not funny at all. Wu Lu wiped the cold sweat from his forehead. He was really afraid of this uncertain woman. This is the world fetal membrane, and opposite is the dark dimension Duomu. Mr. Wu Lu, you have done a good job, and I will not violate the agreement I made with you. Just tell me your weaknesses. In the future, you will encounter huge amounts of disasters than before, even greater than those in your mind. Quote. Wu Lu's expression changed. Psychic magic and prophetic magic are very easy for me. You are an alien, and I hope you can understand this. For thousands of years, the mission of protecting the world has overwhelmed me, so I plan to take a rest. In fact, Strange has become less important, 
but if you send him here, I will still do what you want in this timeline. Mr. Wu Lu, remember my words, the world will be protected by you, I am off work. Farewell. Quote. After Ancient One finished speaking, the space cracked like a broken mirror, giving Wu Lu no chance to continue to say a word. Strange also disappeared together. What's the meaning? What does she mean? Ancient One's parting words made Wu Lu feel a little uneasy. It seemed that everything was still the same as before, and it seemed that the world had undergone some unpredictable changes. Strange, Strange is missing. Let's go, he should have been taken away by the Supreme Mage. Really. Tony Stark couldn't believe that there was such a thing as magic in this world. Tony, actually you can also understand it is science that has not yet been analyzed. Isn't it easier to accept it? Come on, let's go back. I'm so panicked now. At Greyborn College, Banner and Betty finally found Mr. Blue after all the hardships. At this time, the three of them were conducting experiments related to Banner's life at Greyborn College, and they had reached the final stage. Drive Banner, are you ready? I'm going to use a degeneration agent now to prevent this strange cell from awakening. Bring it on. Mr. Blue held a syringe in his hand and inserted it into Banner's vein. Betty held two guns and looked around vigilantly. Ouch. Banner's face suddenly turned green, and he let out a painful cry. It seemed that the Hulk in his body was unwilling to disappear just like that, and was struggling fiercely in his body. Banner, come on, you can do it, you can definitely defeat this green monster. Betty felt sorry for Banner and quickly turned to the host Banner's green head and whispered comfort. The magic of love is great. Whether it is Banner or Hulk, their feelings are interconnected, and they gradually accept the reality amidst the comforting sounds of their lovers over and over again. Faded. Miss Betty, Banner faded, we succeeded. Betty released her tight hold on Banner's stalwart chest and looked at Banner's head. Sure enough, the green was fading rapidly, dark green, light green, light green, flesh color. Successful, we finally succeeded, Banner, we can finally be husband and wife and live an ordinary life. How do you feel now? Betty cried with joy, and she was almost desperate as she fought all the way. Great, Betty, I feel great now. No matter how angry I am, I don't feel like a beast waking up. I'm fine. Honey, I'm fine. Banner held Betty above his head and spun around wildly, bending his inner feelings. Betty, I love you, and I hope you won't dislike me for being an ordinary person in the future. Ordinary. That's great, Banner. What I want most is a life for ordinary people. Quote. The two hugged each other tightly, and Mr. Blue prepared to refrigerate the remaining green blood for storage. What you do? Banner shouted to stop Mr. Blue's movements. Mr. Blue, these things are dangerous, we must destroy them. No, Dr. Banner, I can control it. Mr. Land slapped Banner on the face, and Banner was instantly blinded. What are you doing? Of course I'll deal with you. There was a loud, boom, and the wall of the laboratory was punched open by a strong man in camouflage. Mr. Lan, you have done a very good job. Without Banner, the combination of you and me will be the most invincible existence in the world. Me, become the Hulk. You become Mr. Green. Oh, how fragrant, I smell the power. Bang bang. Bang bang. Lonisky, it's you. As long as we are here, you can't even realize this conspiracy. I will kill you now. Betty is no longer a delicate official lady now, but a real king of soldiers. Her guns always hit Lenowski's vitals. Ding ding ding. The sound of a series of bullets being bounced shocked Betty. Phew. Just like this, Betty was hit by a flying needle in her thigh. I forgot to tell you that I customized the most high-end robot from the creator group. It looks exactly like me and has no anti-counterfeiting marks. This is enough powerful anesthetic to numb a whale, ma'am, sleep on it. Bang. After Lenowski finished speaking, Betty fell to the ground. Lenowski held Betty in his arms. Banner, you are a waste now, get out of here, killing people like you is just dirty to me. Hand. Since you want to be an ordinary person, then be an ordinary person and stop coveting General Ross's daughter, Ms. Betty. She is mine. Quote. Wu Lu and Tony returned to New York, and Wu Lu readily asked Helen Zhao to share the nanorobot technology and memory metal technology with Tony. In return, they also got the secret of the arc reactor. 
Of course, Wulu and Tony had no intention of spreading this technology, and they had a tacit understanding to use it alone. At 8 o'clock in the morning the next day, Pepper Pepper came to invite Wulu. Mr. Wulu, Tony is already at the press conference. We have arranged a car. Please come over now. Of course, I'll go right away. Pepper, you are quite charming when you are not cursing, would you like to stay with me for some maintenance? Go to hell. Peebo didn't give Wulu any chance, turned around and left. Don't be late, Tony is under a lot of pressure. Don't worry, I will take my team to support him. Wulu looked at Peebo's leaving figure and smiled knowingly. Tony didn't know what kind of bad luck he had, to meet a woman like Xiaojiao who was devoted to him. He dialed the phone, Tander, inform our scientific research team that everything will stop today. Let's go to Tony Stark's press conference and give him a platform. Departure in 30 minutes. Okay boss. After thinking about it, Wulu personally called Norman, an old guy. Norman Osborn was not only another major shareholder of creation, but also a very outstanding biogenetic scientist with great prestige and academics. The domineering. There's no reason not to ask him to come along. Norman, how are you doing lately? Not bad, what's the matter? Well, the company has an event, which is a dream collaboration with the Stark Group. It needs some outstanding scientists. I hope you can attend, and I have recently prepared materials to treat your physical diseases. You can start today with a 100% success rate. Quote. Ha ha, woo, you are such a nice guy. Bob also made a bet that you would not give me any treatment and would annex all the property after my death. It seems that he lost and you won. Quote. I won. We'll meet in chat later, send me the address. After Wu Lu sent the address, he took stock of the super scientists he could take away so far, including Dr. Connors, Dr. Otto, Dr. Doom, and Dr. Zhao Hailun. Although it's still a little small, the quality is high. That idiot Smith is really ugly, otherwise he could have been hired to support his appearance. Connors and Otto have been famous for a long time. Although they are not outstanding, they are still famous in the scientific world. Although Doom has just graduated, his academic achievements are very talented. He is also a frequent visitor to various scientific magazines. Anyone who has attended university has heard of this legend. And Zhao Hailun is currently the top scientific researcher of the creationist team, attracting worldwide attention. As soon as such a team appears, it is destined to blind everyone's eyes. Wu Lu got up from his seat, went in through the secret door, woke up the girls to dress up, and went to make Tony look good together today. Helen Zhao changed into a navy blue princess dress and looked like a fairy. Wu Lu stopped her, Helen, I'm sorry. Today you are the leader of scientists. Can you change into a uniform? Then you take it off for me tonight and I'll put it on. Zhao Hailun smiled charmingly, and the world was eclipsed. He tasted the marrow and turned it into a finger-twirling soul-severing knife. Donna puffed out her breasts and said indignantly, Hailun Zhao, don't go too far. The sisters are still here. If you use your charming skills, we won't allow it. Wanda curled up on the sofa holding her belly and smiled. Wu Lu took the opportunity to slip out and join his three scientists. Senior Doom, are you still used to living here? Very good. Wu, the environment and instruments here are made of the world's top materials. Yesterday I tried a new instrument and made a pair of gloves that can isolate magic. Maybe, that day is not far away. Quote. Wu Lu knew what Doom was thinking about, and now he only wanted to kill Mephisto. Yes, Senior Doom, as long as you keep studying, you will definitely be able to defeat him. Excuse me, what is the magic power you are talking about? A chubby old man with rosacea asked with question marks on his face, and then introduced himself, Boss, Dr. Doom, I am Otto. You can call me Otto Man, or you can call me Lao Otto. Can you tell me what magic is? Senior Doom, they are the world's top scholars, the purest kind of scholars, you can trust them. Thanks. Doom began to talk about dimensions, space, time, magic, and the quantum realm. Otto and Connors were dumbfounded. At first, they could still interject a few words from time to time, but later, they could only look as confused as a primary school student. I don't understand, but if you can nod your head occasionally, you will benefit a lot. Okay, everyone, let's get together and communicate some other time. Now, let's set off. 
At the press conference, Stark waited and waited until Wu Lu came to support him, so he had no choice but to hold a press conference. Gentlemen and ladies, as you have heard from the grapevine, I am planning to close the Stark Industries Weapons R&D and Manufacturing Department. From now on, Stark Industries will not be involved in this field. Now, you can ask questions. Quote. There was a, boom. Although every reporter who came here knew what was going on, when the facts were placed in front of them, they still felt very dreamy. Hello, Mr. Stark, I am a reporter from Apple Daily. I heard that all this is related to an Eastern man. I heard that you have an ambiguous relationship with him. Is this a conspiracy of the Eastern powers to attack our military industry? Develop. Sorry, what you said is inconsistent with the facts. In fact, it is because in the Middle East, after I was kidnapped, I saw the life of refugees, which was cruel and miserable. All of this was the impact of increasingly efficient weapons. I have nothing to do with other people. If I have to have a relationship, it is God, and God guided me to do so. Quote. Hello, Mr. Tony Stark, I am a reporter from the Yomiuri Shimbun. Do you know the proportion of the military industry in the Stark industry? We heard from Mr. Obadiah that you are a playboy who only knows how to play with women. You don't know how to play with women at all. It is related to the life and death of the company and the life and death of its employees. Have you ever thought about the life that more than 5,000 weapons research and development engineers will lead? No matter whether you stop or not, their research will not stop because they also need to live. Quote. This is a good question, but I want to say that you are still superficial in your childhood. Stark Industries Weapons Research and Development Department is not a common enterprise. On the contrary, they can transform and develop other industries at any time. For example, Mitsubishi and Toyota, in addition to manufacturing cars, they also produce missiles and fighter jets. This is the same principle. Quote. Mr. Stark, I am a reporter from Time Magazine. As we all know, the market value of Stark Industries is now number one in the United States. People also call the 21st century the Stark Industrial Era, but now, the situation has changed. All investors' confidence in Stark Industries has been shaken. Today, the market value of Stark Industries is only about 10 billion higher than that of the second-ranked creator group. Does your behavior mean that you have completely abandoned it? Your father Mr. Howard Stark's last wish was to give up the Stark era. Quote. Journalist, your thoughts are dangerous. In other words, your thoughts are all dangerous. This world is not a zero-sum game world, but a cooperative world. I have a very good personal relationship with Mr. Wu, the boss of Chuangshengren Group. Whether it is technology or business, we work closely together. No matter who is first or second between the creator group and the Stark group, we will be stronger than before. Quote. But no one from the creation group came to your press conference, not to mention Mr. Wu Lu, even the senior executives. Squeak. A harsh brake sound came from outside the door. A luxury extended Cadillac parked outside the door. The first one to get out was Wu Lu, who was wearing a black windbreaker. Who said no one from the creator group came to stand up for Mr. Tony Stark? I'm not here anymore. Dr. Helen Zhao, Dr. Doom, Dr. Connors, and Dr. Otto, all of you, come down. Every time Wu Lu said a name, there was a burst of exclamation. These reporters did not have much morals, but they had a lot of knowledge. It usually took a long time to make an appointment to see one of these people, but now there were so many at once, and everyone was shocked. The flashing lights of, Kala Kala, kept lighting up. Tony Stark's crisis is over, and Stark Industries' stocks have stopped falling. Another crisis emerged. Hangover Banner suddenly felt that he might really be a waste. Without Hulk, he had completely become an ordinary person. He tried to use hacking technology to find Betty's whereabouts, but was severely beaten by people sent by General Ross. For a moment, he wished that the terrifying monster in his body would come out and help him vent his anger. But it's no use. He was knocked unconscious, but it was still useless. Come out, come out. Why don't you come out? I'm being bullied. Banner was so disheartened that his skills had no time to display in the face of violence. After several years of hiding in Tibet, he had no friends in the huge city of New York, no help, and only humiliation and ridicule from black people. A heavy rain fell from the sky, and the west wind blew up a newspaper. 
Stark industrial giant joins forces with the mysterious doctor from the east, will it be a gluttonous feast for the technological world or the devil's gate to hell? Let us wait and see. Right. Doctor. Yes, doctor. A fire of hope appeared in Banner's eyes, and the doctor became his last life-saving straw. Staggering to the door of the creator group, several figures attracted his attention. Parker, there's someone. Who? Before Banner could react, he felt a lightness in his body, and huge amounts of force pulled him flying out, landing on a big tree. There were six people on the tree, four men and three women dressed in strange costumes. Who are you? Who are you? I. I am Bruce Banner, a PhD majoring in nuclear mechanical artificial intelligence. Another doctor, what do you want to do? You want to enter the creator group building, right? You want to help the evildoers. Peter Parker said angrily, Mr. Banner, Wu from Eastern China is not a good person. I advise you not to serve him. Otherwise, we can only imprison you first to prevent you from helping the bad guys. Banner looked at the strange man covered in spider suit in front of him, feeling extremely frightened. This guy must be the real bad guy. No. I came here to see the scenery. It rained today and the scenery here is nice. Lie. Jessica loudly exposed Banner's lie. I just saw you asking the staff here for information about the Oriental man. If you are not honest, I will break you into eight pieces. All right. I did come to see Mr. Wu, but I don't think he is a bad person. There may be a misunderstanding between you. Quote. Yeah, Peter. He has lived in our house for so long, which is not at all like what you investigated. Quote. Gwen also persuaded softly. Gwen, I know the story between you and him, and I won't force you to choose justice, but given the solid evidence, I hope you won't be emotional. Gwen, you can go back, I don't mind. Quote. Okay, Gwen, what Parker said is right. I have communicated with Mr. Wu for a period of time. I am very familiar with both of you. You are like a glass of clear water, while he is like a glass of mud. My master is not wrong. Quote. Justice, evil. In a moment. Quote. An old man holding a stick said in a bleak tone, Some time ago, I got news that the five fingers of the hand were planning a shocking conspiracy on Madripo Island, so I went there after many twists and turns. From this, it was learned that all the rootless fingers of the hand were beheaded by a Chinese named Wu Lu. This was originally a good thing, but I heard that the man was hurt by Madame Hydra and got together with Madame Hydra, and finally took Madame Hydra's car. Elegance Princess departs. And now, the five fingers of the hand have been reborn. I can't think of any other possibility in the world besides the lifelike figures of the creator group. And, they, make me feel exactly like the coffee maids in the creator's tower. This is a huge conspiracy. Did you hear that? Gwen. This Oriental from China is an ambitious conspirator. Now we don't know how many people have been replaced by him. If we don't send him to prison, or attract everyone's attention here, the future of the world will be, there is no light at all, trust between people and robots is broken, and the world is completely manipulated by him. What a terrible thing. Quote. Gwen was silent, all this was true, although she did not believe that the boy who loved to play, laugh, and have a bright heart would turn into a big devil who wanted to dominate the world. Well, I think maybe we should talk to him. Gwen, our biggest advantage now is that he doesn't know our existence. Once exposed, we may not be his opponent at all. Obscene. Gwen slipped down the tree, I have classes tomorrow, so I won't participate in your plan. It's not bright at all. Watching Gwen leave, Matt also used the excuse that the law firm still had clients, a pair of poor orphans and widowed mothers. If he didn't help, they would die today, so he had to leave. Banner was stunned. These weirdos. Dot are they breaking up? Everyone, everyone, listen to me. You say. Since you are too scrupulous to ask him face to face, then I am willing to help you with this. How about, buddy, you can give me a bug and I will carry it with me, and then I will ask him face to face. If he is really a madman who wants to destroy the world, I will definitely join you in eradicating him. If it is really a misunderstanding, how about preserving your friendship? Peter, why don't you let him try? You can stop one doctor, but you can't stop thousands of doctors. Only by exposing his conspiracy can we completely overthrow him. Quote. Okay. Dr. Banner, this is a bionic bug without any electronic components. 
When you come out, you can give it to me and I can interpret the recording on it. Peter Parker handed Banner a small wooden button. Compared with before, Peter is not only more mature now, but his technological capabilities are also as good as he has failed every day. According to Spectrum Man, this is synchronizing his knowledge from another universe. The method of synchronization is through dream quantum entanglement. Okay, wrap it up on me. Banner carefully stuffed the bug into his jacket pocket, can I leave now? Certainly. Dr. Banner, I think you are a good person, and you will stand on the side of justice, right? Peter Parker looked at Banner and asked seriously. Of course, young man, don't worry. I'm an American to the core. I won't betray my motherland for a Chinese. I'll take care of everything. Goodbye. What do we do now? Jessica asked innocently. I mean what if he betrays us? Let's go, leave first. Everyone retreated, but the time bomb installed in advance by Peter Parker was still silently timing in the office of a scientific research director. Boss, there's a madman outside the door and he's looking for you. Madman. No me. Wu Lu was a little strange. He didn't have many acquaintances in New York. Could it be that he was the original patient? When Tandle was followed to Wu Lu's office, he almost didn't dare to confirm. Drive Banner. Doctor, it's me. Tander, please go out, he is indeed an acquaintance of mine. Okay boss. Wu Lu looked at Bruce Banner, who was in shaven, with holes in his trousers, and two tree leaves on his head, and was puzzled. Drive Banner, you went to pick up rags and were robbed. Betty was caught. I have no choice but to wait. Banner took out the wooden bug from his pocket and placed it in front of the desk in Wu Lu's office. You are being watched, and a group of weirdos are going to deal with you. Wu Lu's face darkened, he was too familiar with this thing. Is it a guy wearing a red and blue spider suit? Who else is there? Besides him, there were three women and four men, two with sticks, a handsome white guy, and a chocolate man. One of the three women was an Asian, a very strong Western woman, and the other looked like an ordinary person. Quote. Wu Lu smiled and said, Look at it this way, you are the foreign aide they invited to help boxing, why did you tell me? Wu Lu reached out and picked up the bug. This thing has a purely wooden structure. If you don't take it out, I won't find out at all. These people are not bad people, but they are very likely to do bad things. What did they ask you to do? They wanted to ask some questions. What is the problem? Do you have any conspiracy to use androids to control the world? Oh, my god, Banner, if it were you, would you be willing to control the world, and then manage the eating, drinking, and drinking of 7 billion people, and regulate who is right and who is wrong in the family? Sorry, I don't have this leisurely mood. My ambition is the stars and the sea. Besides, my android has a heart-shaped mark on its forehead, which is still very different from a real person. Quote. What about the customized version? Is there a big difference? Customized version, what, you mean customized version? This is impossible, their selling price is very expensive, and the price that needs to be exchanged is not worth mentioning for ordinary people, even a country cannot bear a few. Quote. Wu Lu was very confident. If he wanted to take a figure that truly belonged to him from him, he would need vibranium. Or Edelman alloy. And other similar magic metals, which may not be available on Earth currently. No. Banner was furious and stepped forward to grab Wu Lu by the collar. Doctor, you are too conceited. Do you know how Betty was taken away? The other party had a custom-made figurine that looked like Lenowski, which caused Betty to pause for a second after attacking. Lenowski. Okay, your things are more important. Wait a minute, I'll go find some excitement for those idle little guys. Quote. Wu Lu dialed Jin Bing's phone number. Kingpin, your subordinate Erica betrayed, and he is now with Matt. What, your theme zoo has been built. Okay, I will take someone with me tomorrow, dot yes, and cooperation. After hanging up the phone, Banner asked with his eyes, who is Kingpin? This is the person you imagine, the underground gang leader in New York and even the whole world. I have to cause some trouble for those people. They have no idea about the truth of this world. Doctor, how can you associate with that kind of person? Is what they say true? Banner did not eavesdrop according to Peter Parker's wishes, not because he believed in Wu Lu, but because he believed in himself, his eyes, his ears, and his own judgment. Banner, do you think General Ross is a good guy or a bad guy? This. 
Banner's face was twisted. General Ross was of course a villain to him. Not only did he destroy his relationship with Betty, he also hunted him for three years. But is he really a bad guy? General Ross is a meritorious minister to the American emperor and ordinary people. He is a responsible general. So, except for paranoid, neurotic, and perverted people with brain diseases, there are no pure good guys and bad guys in the world. Banner, humans are just animals. Everyone's position determines their own view of right and wrong. This is a fact that we cannot change. In my opinion, Kingpin has the value of his existence. Let's talk about the story of Lenowski and you. I'm more interested in this. Quote. Doctor, I don't care what you say, I will only watch what you do. Trust me, I'm not that easy to fool. I will keep an eye on you. Very good. There is one more person staring at me. I hope you won't stare at me at night, which will affect my romantic life. I will fall out. Wulu asked the coffee maid to take Banner to take a hot bath and change his clothes. Then Banner sat on the sofa opposite Wulu and began to talk. Mr. Land's betrayal, Lenowski's raid, Hulk's death, Betty's robbery, all these changes made Wulu also a little worried. The world is indeed different. Drive Banner, you don't need to be too anxious. If you are willing to serve our creator group, I can help you deal with Lenowski and get your woman back to you. What do you think? No, I can't help you now, I don't know if you are good or bad. What better way to gain first-hand intelligence than from the inside? Dr. Banner, I think you should think about it. Quote. Wulu called Tandal through the internal network. Tander, have we received any orders recently for our custom-made high-level craftsmanship? Yes, boss, not only are there orders, but there are more and more orders. Isn't the price too cheap? How can it be? Wulu was so shocked that he fell off his chair. Tander, where is that thing? Where is the material left after processing? Boss, everything will follow your instructions and be stored in our top secret warehouse. Banner, something has changed. Now I must leave immediately. If you have nowhere to go, Tandal will arrange the most luxurious hotel for you. Farewell. Doctor, I wish you good luck, Mr. Tandal, I need a five-star hotel, is that okay? Certainly. Wulu hurriedly walked to the secret warehouse. The elevator kept falling and did not stop until it reached the 80th floor underground. Here is the secret warehouse of the creator building. Countless advanced equipment and instruments are more powerful than what appears on the surface, and there are also many contraband. Wu, why are you here? Senior Doom, I heard that a lot of customized mobile figures have been sold, so I came to take a look. Did those people pay? You mean those? Doom pointed to a high temperature solution in a special container. The boiling liquid metal was like magma. The amount of it shocked Wulu. Senior Doom, all the customized figures come from here. Do you know how much one sold for? There seem to be more than 130, and there are still 200 on the assembly line. What's wrong? Oh, God. No one understands the power of 130 custom-made dolls better than him, not to mention that there is only one person who has so many vibraniums and can do this. He is Ulysses Clow, the Ulysses Clow who killed Black Panther and Shuri's father in Wakanda, and beat Black Panther to the point of calling him Grandpa. What? We can't continue shipping for the time being because we're missing key components. Mr. Tandal, I paid in full and we signed the contract. Two months later. Two months later, I don't even know where I am. F.K. A mysterious promontory in Africa, huge amounts of mountain base with tens of thousands of desperados, all of which Ulysses Clow saved by stealing Wakanda's vibranium. Brothers, Wakanda's wealth is eye-catching. As long as we can defeat them and occupy it, we will become the richest people in the world. Now, we already have 120 super powerful robot soldiers, it's a good time to take action. Let's go. There were bursts of excited roars of howling ghosts and wolves, and various races of people holding weapons poured from the mountains onto the African land. The more than 100 handsome men and beautiful women at the head were particularly eye-catching, and their steps were neat and brisk, forming a sharp contrast with the motley crew. Heavenly Punishment Army, disperse. Don't stand together. Following Ulysses' order, these, people, dispersed and marched for more than an hour. Ulysses took out a mysterious instrument in an open space and after some tinkering with it. 
Ripples like water waves suddenly flashed in the empty air, and then, an extremely prosperous metropolis appeared in front of everyone's eyes. This is Wakanda, the richest place in the world. They have advanced technology and countless wealth, but they are unwilling to share it with the people on the African continent. Such scum will be destroyed. Rush. Da 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 da. Boom. Boom. Earth-shaking explosions and shooting sounds broke out instantly, and several Wakandans who were guarding the border were instantly shot into sieves. There are intruders, fight back. Wakandans hold laser weapons, like tigers among sheep, a beam of light can shoot through several gangsters. Another one. The Wakandans who were excited to kill saw another person coming to die, so they naturally fired another shot. With a, buzz, the laser shot on the opponent's body without piercing the opponent's body. Instead, it was refracted to the sky. Master, if I let you die, you will all die. With a, click, the poor Wakandan's head was screwed off and he was kicked into the sky. With the addition of customized figures, the balance of victory gradually began to tilt towards Ulysses. No matter how many gangsters were killed, these 120 customized figures were like the god of war, slaughtering the Wakandans in a leisurely manner. Quickly, report to the king quickly, there is a powerful enemy. After the guard captain finished giving instructions, one of the fastest warriors was also punched to death. The little warrior was like a cheetah, moving around and quickly left the battlefield and hurried to the palace. Sorry, your majesty, Wakanda has been invaded. What? King T'Chaka, who was dining, stood up in disbelief. With the shielding device made by the princess herself, what powerful enemy would find us in Wakanda? Your Majesty the King, it's Ulysses, he's back with his men. It turns out it's him. This traitor must be completely eliminated this time. Warriors, put on your armor and go out with me to eliminate the traitor Ulysses and protect our Wakanda. Protect Wakanda. Protect Wakanda. Destroy the traitors. Destroy the traitors. Goddess Guard, let's go. A group of more than a hundred women, all wearing vibranium armor, walked out of the palace under the leadership of King T'Chaka mounted their horses, and began to charge towards the border. The thundering sound of hooves shook the palace. What happened? Su Rui, who was doing scientific research, was awakened by a violent shock and asked the maid next to him what happened. It's an invasion. We, Wakanda, have encountered an invasion. Invasion. Shu Rui controlled a satellite belonging to Wakanda disguised as a meteorite, and soon the scene was projected onto the palace. Hey, what are those things, robot? No, no, they have feelings, and their bodies are coated with vibranium. Custom-made figures from the creation group. Yes, that's right, that's it. Su Rui looked at the custom-made puppy beside him and sighed. I knew it would be used in evil places, but I didn't expect it would be our Wakanda. With that said, she found the contact number of the creator group and called it. Hi, hello, this is the creator group. Dear custom customer, I am Tandal. How can I help you? Hello, I am Su Rui. My country has been attacked by your company's customized figures. My country needs your help. You won't want your products to commit crimes. I have all the evidence that may be used against you. Quote. Ma'am, I need to notify my boss and I'll get back to you later, thank you. Su Rui hung up the phone and quickly went to find his brother T'Challa and asked him to call his old father back. She knew exactly how powerful these custom-made figures made with vibranium coating by the creator group were. Not only were they similar to normal people, their movements were flexible, but they could also transform. Although the intelligence is not high, it can interact with its owner and complete most instructions without any problem. Xiao Huang, go cover my father's retreat. Woof woof woof. The customized figure dog barked for a while, turned into a small flying saucer and flew away with a, kai, sound. In the laboratory on the 80th floor underground of the creator building. Wulu felt his scalp numb as he listened to Doom's process of producing customized figures. What? Senior Doom, do you mean those customized figures can still transform? Yes, it's easy to do it through the combination of science and magic. Coupled with Dr. Zhao Hailun's biological brain, I can load them with biological computer technology to greatly improve their intelligence. Senior Doom, won't you install this too? Of course not. Doom smiled. I'm not that stupid, and the price they paid is not enough. The two were talking when Tandil came in hurriedly. Boss, something happened. What's wrong? 
That batch of custom-made figures sold is now attacking a country called Wakanda, which also has our company's custom-made customers. She is very angry now. Claiming that if we don't care, she will expose this matter. Boss, we are not an arms company. If it is exposed, this business must be stopped. This is a vicious event. Quote. Tell her that in one day, someone will go to help her country solve this problem. We are discussing the plan now. Okay, boss, I'll reply right away. What should come will always come. From the moment Wakanda was attacked, Wulu realized that it had really changed, became unknown, and became hazy. Senior Doom, I have a plan. What's the plan? Use these vibranium, memory metals, nanorobots, and arc reactors, and biotechnology. Create an all-around perfect warrior, powerful enough to deal with threats on Earth or Mephisto. At least, this is a necessary attempt. I call her Athena, the goddess of victory. Athena, goddess of victory. Deal with Mephisto. Woo, I'm willing to try, but I'm afraid it would be difficult for me to do what you mentioned. Quote. Don't worry, I'll shake you off now. In more than 10 minutes, Helen Zhao and Tony Stark appeared in Wulu's secret warehouse. Wow, what are these? It's been boiling at high temperatures. Could it be that it's said to be the strongest metal, vibranium, which can never change its shape once cooled? That's right. Tony, do you still remember what you promised me? I need you to keep your promise now. Quote. Of course, I can use these vibranium to build you a super powerful spaceship that can travel through the universe, and I can do it alone. No, no, Tony, it's not as simple as you think. Let me tell you my idea. Quote. Wu Lu interrupted Tony. That's right, Dr. Doom is not only proficient in all the current high-tech equipment, but he is also a powerful magician. He can use magic to give mechanical creations the ability to transform. Quote. So you're going to build a shape-shifting vibranium ship? Yes, in normal times, like a customized high-end figure, it has the ability to carry out simple independent activities. The real control system is completed by a biological brain that can exchange thoughts with others. To put it simply, it is like a living mark armor that can transform into a spaceship and a goddess of destruction, with powerful firepower. Oh, my god, this, this is such a devilish idea. What did you ask me to do? Tony, you need to help me design the spaceship and energy core. The design does not need to be too compact, leaving enough internal space for us to play. The rest can be left to Dr. Doom and Dr. Zhao Hailun. Well, in fact, you can also consider using artificial intelligence as the main control core, so that humans don't need to control it. Why doesn't Mark Armor use Jarvis as its core? Besides, I don't have Jarvis yet. Of course Wu Lu wants to use artificial intelligence, but there is currently no suitable strong artificial intelligence on hand. As for the weak simple AI, he doesn't want to work in vain for Ultron. Well, forget you didn't. Dr. Doom, hello, my name is Tony Stark, are you interested in working in our Stark group? For a genius like you, I can make you the vice president, how about it? Thank you for your kindness. Doom said lightly, walked aside and continued the work at hand, without taking Tony Stark seriously at all. Where the hell did you find all these freaks? Watch your words, Tony, Senior Doom, don't be as knowledgeable as this guy, he's a lousy person. Okay, start now. I have to get used to your lab first. Quote. Tony, I have a better laboratory environment here. Wu Lu expanded into the field of surgery and began to demonstrate splicing, cutting, and casting for Tony Stark down to the molecular level. Everything seemed to flow smoothly. Wow, I finally understand why Dr. Zhao Hailun is able to cultivate a large number of nanobots. It turns out that you, the fool, is helping. Well, you can start now and let me see your limits. Quote. Tony Stark walked into Wu Lu's surgical field. The hot vibranium liquid took shape like magic in Stark's vision. The dark golden spaceship with graceful lines gradually takes shape. As Wu Lu raised Tony Stark's authority in the field of surgery to number two after him, the company also began to sculpt various structures and accessories that were far ahead of its time. Three hours later, goddess of victory, Athena's spaceship was basically completed, and Pepper brought three arc reactors to it. Huh. Dot huh, okay, I've done everything I can, and it's now a hundred times stronger than my Mark armor. It's incredible. Tony, thank you, Senior Doom, I'll leave the rest to you. 
After Dr. Doom entered the surgical field, he felt the power of dimensional suppression. Wulu, let go of the elemental channel, I can't use magic. How to do it? Okay, let me do it. Elevate my permissions. Quote. Stark's eyes widened, and he was very, very curious about magic. Okay. After Wulu upgraded Doom's authority, he soon felt that his field was being rubbed and penetrated by some small things. They were like a substance between molecules and atoms, very active, but lifeless. Senior Doom, are these little things magic? Yes, if you can perceive them and make them like you, then you can also become a magician. Doom began to control the vibranium solution to fly in the air again. These hot vibranium were smeared with mysterious runes on the fuselage of the goddess of victory. A mysterious aura gradually filled the air from this technological creation. The construction of four biological computers made this big thing instantly seem to be alive. Finally, Doom used the newly developed magic forbidden technology to attach a magic forbidden inner shell to its inner wall. In this way, it can resist damage from almost all supernatural abilities. For example, Wulu suddenly discovered that if the goddess of victory closed the cabin door, he would not be able to detect the internal situation. Senior Doom, what did you do to it? Can you let it open the hatch so that my domain cannot penetrate? Quote. It's a forbidden magic material. Even in hell, it is invincible. Quote. Doom walked out of the surgical field. I have done everything I can. Not only can it ban demons, but it also has some magical blessing abilities. The wings of wind can accelerate its flight, and the shield of light can defend against most attacks. Black magic, luck magic, greatly reduce the probability of probabilistic damage, and transformation magic, which can transform into the human form, Athena. Senior Doom, can you let it transform now? No, I cannot. But Dr. Zhao Hailun can. The goddess of victory should be studied for her. The world has become increasingly unstable recently. I can feel a powerful dark energy about to move. Quote. Senior Doom, you are really a roundworm in my stomach. Helen, let's start the final process. Biological armor transformation. Mr. Doom, how can I control it? With a crash, the goddess of victory suddenly turned into a metallic woman about two meters tall with a figure and eyebrows that were 70% similar to Zhao Hailun, and a pair of sparkling eyes. Doom explained, this is the quantum mode of thought. It can be done if you want it. Helen, let's start. Zhao Hailun also used vibranium. This time she used vibranium to cultivate nanorobots and memory metals. The biological brain was also simulated with vibranium. It is said to be a living thing, but in fact it has almost no connection with living things. When the goddess of victory is fully activated, a large number of nanorobots slowly cover the goddess's body-like liquid skin and become indistinguishable from a real person through color adjustment. Hello. Hello, Helen. Miss Helen, take care of me. After a moment of adaptation, she was finally able to produce a timbre that was close to a real woman's voice. Goddess of victory, Athena, please enter. Oh my gosh, you. Dot you can talk. Yes, Sister Zhao Helen, deep in your heart, you hope to have a sister, so you have me, and I will protect you. Wu Lu, if you bully Helen in the future, I won't let you go. Quote. Wu Lu was stunned, what is this? Have you created a troublesome sister-in-law for yourself? Dr. Doom, this. Wu, this is the most perfect state. The most perfect state is imperfection and virtuality. If a creation is completely controlled and completely digitized, then it will already be out of date from the moment it is created. But Athena is different. It has unlimited possibilities. It has faith and can learn. Don't worry, Dr. Zhao Helen and her are like two sides of one and the same person. Quote. After hearing Dumu's words, Wulu was relieved. Helen, our company's custom-made figures launched a terrorist attack in Wakanda. Now you go and destroy them all and save the people of Wakanda. I have already transmitted the coordinates to you. Let's see if your sister can help. Quote. Elder sister. Will you go with me? Certainly. Sure enough, he was entangled in feelings with Zhao Hailun, and Athena actually knew the password here. Wu Lu's face was ugly. I'm afraid this tough guy knew exactly what postures he and Zhao Hailun used. Everyone followed Helen Zhao and Athena to the top floor. How should I do? Helen Zhao was a little nervous. Helen, just shout, 
I am the goddess of victory, loudly. Helen Zhao was a little ashamed and her voice was as low as a mosquito, I am the goddess of victory. Speak louder, sister, you are a warrior now, speak louder and be more confident. Helen, come on. Wu Lu encouraged. The world has become very dangerous, maybe I will need your protection in the future, come on. Doom and Stark huddled in a corner, watching boredly. The power of love is very great. With Wu Lu's tireless encouragement, Zhao Helen finally summoned up the courage to shout, I am the goddess of victory. After a burst of dazzling light, a streamlined spaceship appeared in front of everyone, and the swirling magic energy sent Zhao Hailun into the belly of the machine. The spacecraft accelerated from extreme silence to extreme motion in an instant, turned into a stream of light, flew into the sky, and soon was out of sight of everyone. This time, Wu Lu was almost scared to death. Tony, Doom, can Helen withstand the overload at such a high speed? The human body is extremely fragile, and the overload of 6 to 9 G is the limit. Once it exceeds the heart and blood vessels, all organs will explode. Don't worry, Wu, from the moment Dr. Zhao Hailun connected with the goddess of victory, she has become extraordinary. Okay, then I'm relieved. Brother, can you sell me some of your vibranium? I want to build a more powerful mark armor for me. Of course, but my demand is very high. I can coat you with a thin film at most. Oh, God, I have never seen an oriental who is more stingy than you. I can pay for it, do you understand? Tony, it's not that I don't want to part with vibranium, but this thing is very rare. So, I can leave you the vibranium materials to make a complete set of Mark armors. If you feel that your craftsmanship is perfect now, you can take it away now. Quote. Okay, I'll have to study it carefully when I get back. This thing is a rare commodity. Tell me, what do you want? I want a set of strong artificial intelligence, is that okay? If I could, I would have made a set for myself a long time ago. Well, let's wait until the delivery. The battle in Wakanda became more and more fierce. T'Chaka and his goddess guard were defeated by the customized figures, and their numbers were severely reduced. Of the more than 100 goddess guards, only about 30 people were left at this time. Still barely holding on. The shield made of vibranium protects against bullets shot from the sky. Ha ha ha, T'Chaka, surrender, you Wakandans always think that you are the smartest and stupidest thing in the world, try the ammunition of the civilized world. Attack, attack, kill them all. Da 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 da. Boom, boom, boom. The customized figures turned into adult file-sized fighter jets, loaded with firearms prepared for them by Ulysses Clow, and constantly firing various shots from the sky. On the ground not far away. There was a destroyed puppy-shaped custom figure, which one belonged to Shurui. Your Majesty the King, retreat quickly. Retreat to the castle. There is a defensive shield arranged by Princess Shurui, which will definitely be able to resist these robots. Quote. Parai, stop talking. You go, I am the King Black Panther, this is my country, every Black Panther has never fled in the face of invasion, tell T'Challa, if I die in battle, he will inherit the throne. You go quickly. Walk. None of you can leave. Ulysses Clow frantically called for reinforcements, and the phone almost started to smoke. General Alexander, reinforcements, I want reinforcements, I have already invaded Wakanda, I want reinforcements now. Yes, their past is now less than two kilometers opposite me, and thirty women armed with laser weapons are protecting this old guy. The weapons you gave me are too inferior. They were originally civilian products and were not loaded with heavy weapons. If you kill the king, all the vibranium and technology in Wakanda will belong to you Hydra. Quick. Okay, the winter soldier will be here soon. The battle continued, and Wakanda's reinforcements came one after another, but they were unable to drive away these flying customized figures, and their king was unwilling to leave at all. Boom, boom, boom. In the distance, two helicopters slowly flew over. In full view of everyone, they dropped four large boxes from the sky. As the box cracked open, four fully armed, tall and non-humanoid super warriors slowly woke up. What? What is this? Parai, go quickly, these are the winter soldiers, the most terrifying warriors in the world, go quickly. T'Chaka struggled to push the guards around him, but if he didn't leave, how could others leave? Boom. The winter soldier was so stiff that he twisted his headgear, but the movements in his hands were very fast. 
The nearly two-meter heavy sniper rifle was held in one hand like a pistol, and he shot a member of the goddess guard in the head with one shot. Tum. With huge amounts of gunfire, another member of the goddess guard was shot to death. These winter soldiers were specially trained killers. Facing the Wakandan warriors who had never fought a war and had no powerful laser weapons, they were like it's just as easy for an adult to hit a child. Boom. This shot bounced directly to T'Chaka's forehead. There was no bloody scene, and there was no bloody scene where he slowly explained his last words. T'Chaka's head was instantly beaten into blood foam by the powerful power of the sniper rifle, leaving only a vibranium. The forehead ornament and crown rolled on the ground, dripping with blood. King. The king is dead. T'Chaka's goddess guard, the only survivor, fled in a hurry. The remaining Wakandan warriors tried their best to block it, and finally transported the body of King T'Chaka to the castle from the hands of four winter soldiers, more than a hundred customized figures, and thousands of thugs. Your Royal Highness, the King, died. I know, carry it down. Suri looked into the distance, towards the direction where the invaders were coming, our battle has just begun. She looked sad, but she was not defeated. Su Rui held up her skirt, turned around and walked towards a dusty palace in the palace. There is the royal secret cell. The ancient stone steps and moss-covered walls illustrate the ancient history here. A dim oil lamp was lit at the end of the cell, and there was a vaguely white man huddled in a corner. Elder brother. Snort. Su Rui received no response when she called softly, so she simply opened the cell door. Suri, since I'm locked up here by T'Chaka, I won't go out. You can leave. Brother, my father is dead, killed by intruders. What? The white young man suddenly jumped up from the ground. Suri, what's going on? How did T'Chaka die? Who? Who invaded our Wakanda? Ulysses Clow, he purchased a batch of customized figures and colluded with Hydra. The person who killed his father was the winter soldier secretly developed by Hydra. Brother, Wakanda needs you. No matter how big the misunderstanding between you and your father is, he is already dead. Quote. Where's T'Challa? Brother. He is still studying abroad and cannot come back in time. Brother, only you can protect our country and our people. T'Chaka, he's dead. I want to be buried with them. With a, clang, sound, the shackles on the white young man's body were instantly broken. White wolf. A whirlwind blew by, and a set of silver-white vibranium full-body armor was wrapped around the white young man's body. Suri, informed T'Challa to come back. The country cannot live without Black Panther, and Wakanda cannot live without a leader. Those invaders, leave them to me, and I will kill them. A bolt of white lightning rushed from the Wakanda palace to the battlefield. Everyone knew that Wakanda's most powerful warrior, White Wolf Hunter, was back. Whoa. The proud mob on the battlefield is enjoying the thrill of victory and the joy of obtaining the fruits of victory. Almost every elite Wakanda warrior will have one or several weapons made of vibranium. These things are priceless treasures. Suddenly, a bandit's head disappeared, and then more and more people were brutally killed, with arms and legs broken, their clothes and intestines rotten, and their heads exploding. This horrific sight shocked everyone. What the hell? Quick, everyone, find cover quickly. It's the White Wolf. Ulysses Crow shouted. Don't panic, it's the White Wolf. This kid is the most powerful warrior in Wakanda. He wears a vibranium exoskeleton all over his body. Don't be afraid. He is a human being, and as a human being, there is a moment when all strength is exhausted. Quote. Claude. As expected, it's you, die. Ulysses' voice revealed his position, and the white wolf hunter quickly ran to pull out the afterimage, and the phantom of a wolf claw faintly appeared in his waving right hand. The snarling wolf wants to kill Claw with one punch to avenge T'Chaka. Waiting, my hands, help. Crow pulled his neck and shouted, and then the lifelike figures that turned into fighter jets quickly returned to defense, turning into human shapes and surrounding Crow. Claude, do you think these robots can save you? Dream, today I will let you see what power is. Idiot, do you know what technology is? Short-sighted and a frog in a well, let me show you how powerful the technology of the civilized world is and eliminate the threat. Boom. White Wolf's heavy punch collided with a male humanoid figure, and the humanoid figure was instantly knocked away more than 10 meters, but strangely it did not suffer any damage. Vibranium. That's right. These precious minerals should belong to all mankind, 
not to be taken by you ignorant chocolate people. I stole them out of my mind. Quote. Shameless. Hunter was furious. Claw, all the mineral assets in the world are developed by whichever country they are in. You actually made the theft so fair and just. I will definitely kill you today. Snort. White Wolf, you are a Slav, not a chocolate man. The rules of the civilized world are naturally for the civilized world. Is Wakanda a country? Why doesn't anyone else know? Human civilization should benefit others. You are the richest in Africa, but you occupy rare resources and refuse to help your own kind. You are freaks who are not recognized by the world. Kill him. More than a hundred custom-made and other martial arts figures instantly transformed into martial arts masters, and began to attack the white wolf with all their skills. Although these figures were not very powerful, they were no different from ordinary people. With his indestructible body, the white wolf was quickly surrounded in a very narrow area. White Wolf Hunter has great power, but he is unable to cause much damage to these skilled figures. Although these life-like figures only have a thin layer of vibranium coating, they still have the ability to absorb kinetic energy. No matter how strong the force, they cannot cause enough damage to the interior of these figures. Brother, their weakness is the green hair on their heads, which is their energy source. Su Rui's voice was transmitted to the battlefield through the loudspeaker, and White Wolf instantly became energetic. The shadow of white lightning blew like a whirlwind on all the customized figures. Soon, the warning lights of these figures began to flash, and they fell into a state of energy. A state of consumption. Ulysses Clow was shocked. He didn't expect that there were people in Wakanda buying customized figures. These primitive people could actually shop online. Brothers, don't be afraid, charge. These figures can move for two days even without external energy. Once Wakanda is conquered, all the wealth will be ours. Quote. Ulysses Crow shouted the last sentence and began to quietly escape to the outside. White Wolf Hunter was shocked when he heard that these figures were indeed still able to move. His heart tightened. He was still surrounded and unable to escape. Thousands of terrorists also became energetic and went crazy under the leadership of the four winter soldiers. Charge attack. Twenty minutes later, these waiting figures began to collapse to the ground after vigorous exercise. Looking at the figures on the ground, Hunter understood that he had been fooled. Got fooled by that disgusting guy Crow. Ouch. With a wild roar, he got involved in the battlefield and started the hungry wolf roar again. His flying claws transformed into butcher knives under the distortion of hatred, killing everyone. Until I killed a winter soldier and fell to the ground. Wow. It seems we are late. Golden light flashed across the sky, and the goddess of victory, transformed into a human form, spread her wings and flew high in the sun, like an angel patrolling the sky. The tragic scenes on the earth were clearly visible. Helen, I found the creator figure. The number is 126. The number matches. Do you want to destroy it? Destroy. In the sky, the goddess of victory spread her wings, and hundreds of strands of golden light shot into the Tianling caps of these figures, drilling in through gaps that were difficult to detect under a microscope. Vibranium nanobots. This is one of the exclusive weapons of the goddess of victory, which can destroy the core of these life-size custom-made figures in an instant. From then on, they really just turned into a bunch of bodies. Athena, do we want to go down? They seem to have suffered a great loss. Quote. Helen, we are only responsible for the victory, not the aftermath. Let's go, let the men handle these troubles. The goddess of victory came very quickly and walked even faster. She circled and flew away. After losing sight of her shadow, a huge amount of violent tornado flew from the sky to the ground, killing the terrorists in an instant. The three winter soldiers are also missing. What is it? In the Wakanda Palace, White Wolf Hunter was lying sick on the bed. Suri, what is that, do you know? They should be the figurine soldiers of the creator group. I called their company yesterday. They should be sent by their company to deal with these invader figurines. They also helped us get rid of the terrorists, which was pretty good. Quote. Okay, it's really good. White Wolf Hunter's eyes were cold and stern. The creator group, I remember it. Within a day, Helen left and returned. Wulu quickly asked her how she felt. Very nice. It feels so good. Just like Angel, honey, this feeling of flying is so great. Quote. Athena sneered. I really can't stand you guys. 
we got tired of being together in less than a few hours. If nothing happens, I'll leave first. After speaking, Athena turned into a golden stream of light and flew into space orbit. This. Wulu was stunned and pointed at Athena who was walking away. Zhao Hailun smiled. Sister said that it is convenient for her to respond to me in low earth orbit. It only takes 10 minutes to respond to my call. It saves energy and can monitor the world than other places. This. Because we have the same thoughts and feelings, my sister is now smarter than the average person, because I was originally very smart. All right. Go back and tell me what happened in Wakanda. Quote. There was a loud, boom, as soon as Wu Lu took Zhao Hailun's little hand, huge amounts of explosion occurred in a laboratory in the creator building. A moment later, Tandil hurriedly came to report that Dr. Otto was blown away by the bomb and was unconscious. His body was connected to several mechanical arms, so Wulu hurriedly went to take a look. Otto's scene was completely charred, the entire office was shaken to pieces, and seven or eight scientific researchers were left unknown whether they were alive or dead. How is it going? Drive Otto's condition is very critical. The robotic arm he is researching has penetrated the body's heart, kidneys and spine, which is very risky. But it is strange that Dr. Otto's body has undergone some changes and seems to have maintained a wonderful balance. There is currently no danger to his life. But if you remove these things, it's hard to tell. Quote. Wu Lu frowned, is history still like this? The birth of Dr. Octopus seems irreversible at present. He could prevent all this, but he did not do it. Who did the investigation when it came out? According to our satellite system, a masked man wearing a spider suit quietly placed it here. The structure is very clever, and our security personnel did not notice it. Not found. Wu Lu sneered. Fire all current security teams, Tandil, and tell Dr. Doom to produce a thousand combat coffee maids, all using arc reactors. He knows what to do. Okay, boss, but this will cost a lot of money. Don't worry, these are not problems. We will have a large order soon. Wu Lu returned to his office and asked his secretary to call Donna and the others back from school. What's wrong, honey? Donna sat on Wu Lu's lap, cocked her neck and chuckled, not satisfied at night. This is daytime. Donna, Mindy, Wanda, there was an explosion in the creator building today. Dr. Otto was seriously injured, so I'm worried about you. What happened? Who did it? Mindy was furious. If I catch him, I will blow his head off. I don't know yet, but I have sent Fenner to track it down, and the results should be available soon. For the time being, you should not go to school, just stay in the creator building. After the crisis is over, everything will be business as usual. Quote. Okay, Dad, can you bring Sister Ling back as well? No, she will be in danger if she is with us. In fact, Shao Ling has attracted the attention of Peter Parker and the others. This oriental girl's stunning performance during the battle between Iron Man and Iron Overlord was eye-catching. So, after Donna Mindy and the others left, Peter Parker sat in Mindy's seat and stuffed a note over her. Xu Shao Ling didn't know why, so she unfolded the note and there was a line on it, Do you want to be a hero? Don't leave after school, see you in the woods. Xu Shaoling looked at the boy in front of her curiously and thought to herself, this is how western boys pursue things. Isn't it too direct, without any process? Peter Parker saw the other person's beautiful eyes looking at him and smiled back. At the end of school time, as soon as the professor left, Peter Parker pulled Xu Shaoling and ran away. When he arrived at the door, Gwen had been waiting in the car for a long time. Seeing Xu Shaoling, she was filled with jealousy, who is she? Gwen, she is Xu Shaoling, a transfer student in our class. She and I are not who you think. She is about to fall into that devil's trap. We must save her and leave quickly. Peter Parker and Xu Shaoling got into the car, Gwen stepped on the accelerator and drove straight into Hell's Kitchen. Matt Law Firm has now become the stronghold of their Defenders Alliance. The members include Peter Parker, Jessica, Luke Cage, Danny Rand, Stickman, Matt, Erica and non-staff member Gwen. Of course, today they are preparing to absorb Xu Shaoling. Phew, it's finally here. There was no danger along the way, so Peter Parker finally felt relieved and took Xu Shaoling out of the car and walked to the law firm. Classmate Xu Shaoling, do you know who Mingdi is, and do you know who Wu Lu is behind her? You are in danger now, very dangerous. Peter, 
who is she? Lawyer Matt, she is Xu Shaoling from the East. She is our classmate. She has been targeted by the devil Wu Lu. What? What do you mean? Peter Parker, please stop playing charades with me. Who are you? If you continue to be sneaky, I will leave. Quote. Xu Shaoling looked at the room full of people, as if they were organizing some kind of secret gathering, and she instantly became alert. This is obviously not a party invited by a classmate. It is very likely that he is setting a trap for himself. I remembered. Luke Cage, the chocolate man, slapped his forehead and showed his bright white teeth. She is the dragon and tiger girl reported on the news. Hello, I am Luke Cage, and we are the defenders. The defenders. What's the meaning? Gunsu said solemnly. Little girl, the defenders alliance means a group of like-minded people organized together to maintain world peace. Now that the world is facing a catastrophe, are you willing to contribute your part? What doomsday disaster? It's the devil Wulu and his group of creators. How come? He studies those dolls like an idol every day, how could they be the world-destroying demon? Xu Shaoling didn't believe it at all. People pay attention to Aura, and Wulu's Aura was that of an ordinary person who was a little selfish but had love in his heart. She was very sure of this. Little girl, as the saying goes, you know people but don't know their hearts. When we say this, we naturally have enough evidence. Peter, show Ms. Xu the evidence we collected. Quote. Peter Parker took out the video recorder and started playing the latest criminal evidence about the creator group purchased from the dark web. Kill them. Once Wakanda is captured, all the wealth will be ours. Kill. The video begins with Ulysses Clow leading more than 120 custom-made figures to massacre Wakanda soldiers and civilians. Every killing is a close-up of all aspects. Kill, maim. The innocence of the decedent and the sorrow of the living are vivid and vivid. Ms. Shu, at first we only investigated the ordinary dolls and high-end dolls of the creator group, and found that although these can cause some harm to people, in general the benefits outweigh the disadvantages. But then, I went to Madripo Island. Gunsu slowly told what he had seen and heard on Madripo Island, and the content was extremely horrifying. So, he quietly used customized dolls to replace the heads of human beings in some organizations, and then influenced human beings through these organizations, and finally achieved the goal of ruling the world. Xu Shaoling can't believe it now. People's opinions are worth their weight in gold but their accumulation is worthless, I think it would be better to ask him directly. Everyone looked at each other in confusion. Yesterday, a doctor came in and asked how they could agree to the fact that this girl was going to go again now that she had become a guest of the creator group. The Defenders Alliance is far behind Wulu in terms of wealth and power. Through long-term investigation and the information Gwen told them, Wulu's verbal skills are even better than those of the Defenders. This move may lead to rebellion again. You won't dare to confront me, right? Xu Shaoling looked at everyone narrowly. If this is the case, I have no interest in messing around with you. I want to go home. Of course not. We. Before Peter Parker could finish speaking, a crazy howl came from outside the door. Oh, ho ho ho, I finally found the cockroach nest of you nasty reptiles. There was a loud, bang, and the door of Matt's law firm was instantly shattered into pieces. A two-meter, eight-meter tall monster with a dog's head and a wolf's body appeared in front of everyone. He held a gatling in both hands and looked at everyone with disdain. Are you going to deal with my master? Fenrir, what's going on? Did Wu Lu send you here? Miss Xu Shaoling, you are a noble Easterner who does not understand Western rules. For this person, a big fist means justice. But this is none of your business, please leave. Quote. Fenrir, these are ordinary people. I won't allow you to be so unreasonable and ignore black and white. Mindy is here and she won't allow you to do this. Hey hey. Fenrir opened his mouth and laughed. If Master Mindy were here and spoke like this, of course I wouldn't dare to be presumptuous. Unfortunately, Miss Shu Shaoling, you are not Master Mindy. These people are terrorists, but they are not ordinary people at all. After the 10 second countdown, if you do not leave, I will regard it as a provocation to the Master. 198. What did you do to Wu Lu? In my impression, he has never been so unreasonable. No. Oops, bomb. Peter Parker suddenly remembered that the bomb they left behind was originally just to scare people, so the time was set for an extremely long time, but now it seems like. I can't let these have an easy time dealing with my master. 3, 2, 1. 
Miss Xu Shaoling, let me ask you one last time, are you sure you don't want to leave? Fenrir, there is a misunderstanding. We must see Wu Lu now to confront everything and restore the facts. Only in this way can we eliminate the misunderstanding. They are a threat, so they cannot see their master, and now, you are a threat too. Ouch. Fenrir looked up to the sky and howled, and his body grew bigger again, reaching a height of 5 meters. His funny golden hair head also turned into a North American gray wolf head after radiation, full of death and malice. Da 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 da. Gatlin braved the blue light and started shooting wildly. Come on, it's crazy. Shu Shaoling jumped and flew to the side with Gwen. Peter Parker pulled out a handful of spider silk and swung it to a tall building. Erica, Stickman, and Matt pulled the three bulky heroes Jessica, Iron Fist Danny and Luke Cage took them all away one by one. The lazy donkey rolled and flipped left and right to avoid Fenrir's fire. Kaka. Ten minutes later, the two Gatlings turned off. Fenrir threw it to the ground and stepped on it with his big feet, instantly crushing the Gatling. He flexed his muscles, jumped up, and flew high into the sky. Superior. Erika held the demon sword Muramasa, jumped suddenly, and flew into the sky. Facing the sun, one person and one wolf, colliding wildly. Red blood and green blood fell on the ground one after another. Erika's knife skills were ruthless and she moved forward indomitably. Fenrir is physically strong and trades injuries for injuries. Dwang. Ten seconds later, there was a loud noise, Erika was defeated by Fenrir and was kicked out of the air by a hoof, falling straight to the ground. Careful. Peter, go and pick him up quickly. Matt quickly called Peter to rescue his ex-girlfriend. Call out. The thin and tough spider silk came first and was launched from a building. It stuck to Erika and instantly pulled Kayla into the building. Reptile, so brave. Mad dog, I'm just giving in to you, don't get carried away. Matt, pick it up. Peter Parker flicked the spider's thread, and Erika drew an incredible arc from the sky and fell to the ground. Matt quickly jumped up and took Erika into his arms. Go to hell. His teammates were rescued, and Peter Parker stuck to two cars parked on the roadside and hit Fenner hard on the head. Clang. Boom. Fenrir pushed hard and the two cars exploded instantly. The scattered parts fell on the surrounding cars, setting off countless alarms. Gwen watched the fierce battle, quickly took out her mobile phone and dialed 911, and then hid aside. Gunsu and Matt were holding alloy sticks, and they cooperated skillfully. The shadows of the sticks flew up and down, and every swing made a whirring sound. Spider-Man Peter Parker hovers in the air, making sneak attacks from time to time. Danny, Jessica, and Luke Cage faced Fenrir head on. They all worked together and suppressed Fenrir in place for a while, unable to move. Its resilience is so strong. Gunsu crippled Fenrir on the soles of his feet with a stick, but the opponent quickly recovered and gave Gunsu a slap with his backhand. Be careful, its claws have serious radiation rays, don't get hit by it. While releasing the Fist of Light, Danny Rand warned everyone. My company has studied this before, and I know it very well. The light fist imprinted on Fenrir's body, not even a hair could be hurt. By the way, Shu Shaoling, do you believe it now? They dare to kill people openly, so what kind of good person is Wulu Nang? You have been with them for so long, do you know if this guy has any weaknesses? Quote. Asshole. Fenrir cursed loudly, I am my master's pet. How can I prove my master's moral character by hurting others? At most, I am considered to have rabies. Moreover, you are the terrorists who set off the bomb first. I kill you to eliminate harm for the people. Quote. Shut up. Silly dog. Jessica jumped up high and punched Fenrir on the head, knocking Fenrir unconscious. The others quickly stepped forward to increase their output, but unfortunately this guy's defense was too high and he couldn't break it at all. No, I don't know, I don't know what the disadvantages are. Fenrir. Stop quickly, or I will take action. Impossible, Miss Shu Shaoling. They don't know good from evil, and I have to teach them a lesson. I'm just not used to it now. After a while, I figure out their tricks, and I can beat them to pieces. Trash, use more force. Fenrir, Grandpa is almost asleep now. In the face of absolute power, skills are useless. Although Fenrir's body strength is still organic, it has surpassed most alloys on the earth. It is a serious compression body and has a large number of repair nanorobots. 
These capitals make it a super warrior with strong resistance and resilience. Unless it can be destroyed as a whole instantly, otherwise, causing a little damage to it is of no use at all. Boom. Peter Parker raised a gasoline barrel and hit Fenner hard, and the flames burst into flames instantly. No matter how powerful you are, you are just a living creature. Don't be afraid of fire if you have the ability. Let's see if you survive this time. Peter Parker gloated and hung in the air, ready to find the next gasoline barrel to refuel Fenner. Ouch. Fenner roared to the sky, and kicked the nearest loop cage into the wall of a house. The wall quickly cracked with spider webs, and loop cage also fainted on the ground, not knowing whether he was alive or dead. Luke. Jessica shouted loudly and attacked with a few punches, but Fenner clamped his chest with two wolf claws, and then knocked Jessica away with a heavy uppercut. Danny Rand was left, Fenrir's eyes glowed red, his wolf head howled wildly, and huge amounts of sound waves made everyone dizzy. Dragon Fist. Shusha became more alert. She saw that this beast had become ferocious and was no longer as easy to talk to as it was at the beginning. Ouch. A phantom of a blue dragon appeared between Shu Shaoling's fists. As Shu Shaoling flew up and down, the green dragon swam, meandered and swayed. Its powerful power greatly slowed down Fenrir's movements. Tiger Fist. Shu Shaoling jumped high like a ballet dancer in the air, and the tiger descended from the sky and pounced on Fenrir. Boom. The pink and tender fist hit Fenrir, but he couldn't resist it so easily. His chest muscles exploded instantly. Fenrir, stop it. You are no match for me. Ouch. Ho 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 ho. In response to Shu Shaoling's matter, Fenrir roared more violently. Fenrir, covered in flames, jumped suddenly and flew into the air. Not good. Shu Shaoling turned around and wanted to stop him, but found that there was nothing he could do. Fenrir jumped into the air and turned into a flying fire fish, rushing towards Peter Parker. Oh. This guy's target is me. Peter Parker narrowly avoided Fenrir's collision through his spider sense, but his leg still hit him hard, and Fenrir flew away without looking back. This monster escaped. As soon as Peter Parker landed on the ground, a white agent with a distinctive hairstyle and a bunch of shield agents surrounded them. Hello, I'm Coulson, your battle just now was exciting. I know that the monster is a product of the creator group, and now it is related to national security. I need you to come with me and help with the investigation. Who are you? I'm Coulson, S.H.I.E.L.D. agent, Peter Parker. I know you. If you don't want to cause any trouble to your uncle and aunt, I advise you to go. Matt and Gunsu took out their sticks and were about to resist. An arrow hit Gunsu's stick hard, and Matt's stick was deflected by the bullet. Guys, it's best not to move. We are a violent unit specially approved by the United Nations. You'd better cooperate. The situation was stronger than the people, and all the defenders, including Gwen, were taken away. Among them, Erica, Luke Cage and Jessica all fainted, and Peter Parker was also limping and seriously injured. Shield headquarters, Nick Fury keeps looking at the time on his wrist. Ding. The crisp sound of the elevator made his face, whose expression could not be seen clearly, wrinkle slightly. Guys, this is our chief Nick Fury. Nick Fury laughed. Peter Parker, I love you. Good neighbors to New Yorkers, selfless vigilantes, and you are all good young people. Coulson, arrange our most advanced medical system to treat their injuries. Thirty minutes later, everyone was recovered and led into a conference room by Nick Fury. The only projection in the conference room was a young oriental man, Wu Lu. Coulson, inform Tony that is an important member, he has to come. Okay, director. Twenty minutes later, Tony Stark, Hawkeye, Black Widow and Falcon entered the venue, and Nick Fury began to speak from the meeting. Peter, I know you and these young people will do another big thing, a big thing to keep the world safe. The person you have to deal with is him, Wu Lu. Right. That's right. Then do you know him? No, I understand him. In fact, except for Gwen and Matt, we all understand him. Peter, I don't understand either. We just met a few times. Quote. Ms. Gwen, do you think you know him well? I know that he lived in your home for a short period of time before he founded the Creator Group, and he has a very good personal relationship with your father. He has an ambiguous relationship with you, but even so, I ask you now, do you understand him? I know him. Gwen couldn't stand the aggressiveness of this brazed egg and shouted back, 
Of course I know him, he is an enthusiastic doctor with very good medical skills. In our neighborhood, everyone knows Wu Lu. He has treated so many people, even some poor people, for free. I can attest to that. Matt said, he tried to restore my sight, but during that time, because I needed to practice some things, I refused. I feel that even if I go to him now, he will definitely help me. Quote. Tony, what about you? What do you think of him? I had a great chat with you, and even gave you a green hair to help you delay the harm of palladium poisoning. Nick, I think you are making a mountain out of a molehill. I have been in contact with him for a long time. Apart from his miraculous medical skills, he is just a very ordinary person. A bit stingy and a bit greedy for money, but very loyal and very pursuing. Quote. What is he after? World peace. So, he made these weird dolls, and even now millions of them are produced and they're still being shipped around the world. So, he got a lot of weapons and arc reactors from you, Tony, you said you wouldn't weaponize those things, don't forget that you are a member of the Avengers. Nick Fury became angrier as he spoke. Well, I know I can't convince you. But let's take a look at the appraisal given to Wulu by the world's top medical team, and let's take a look at what he did behind the scenes. Quote. Delusional schizophrenia. What's the meaning? It means that due to some aspect of ability that far exceeds that of ordinary people, he becomes delusional, imagining the end of the world, imagining everyone harming him, and so on. You said he is kind-hearted, then please take a look at our video information. Quote. The video started playing when Wu Lu just came to New York, wearing a denim t-shirt, with confused and frightened eyes. At this moment, a black man bumped into him deliberately, and then turned around, Wu Lu held a pair of bright red waists in his hands. This boy's name is Xiao Zhuang. He was in a bad mood today because his mother passed away, so when he saw Mr. Wu from the east, he accidentally bumped into him. It was just a small friction at first. But later, please take a look. Quote. The chocolate man walked ten steps, suddenly covered his belly, his face was extremely ugly and distorted, and was finally hit by a speeding truck and died. There was also a girl who, just because she was joking, called a yellow-skinned monkey and spit on his face, and he broke all the humerus of her limbs. That girl is still lying in the hospital because of some strange reason. The power cannot heal at all. But this is too much. Yes, it is indeed excessive. Nick Fury nodded, but then he asked, then why didn't he call the police? Is this punitive measure equal to the amount of damage? The other party did not cause him any harm, but he caused irreparable damage to the other party. Harm. This is a crime. Quote. Black director, I have a different opinion. Xu Shaoling argued, in our East, this is a serious insult. She should apologize to Wu Lu. If Wu Lu accepts it, she will definitely be cured. If these are excusable, then when the skills show up, it is an extraordinary conspiracy. May, show them all the information we recently investigated, these are all very good young men. All right. Melinda May, give each person a copy of the prepared information. Oh my god, are these real? Xu Shaoling looked through the information in disbelief. The information showed that there had been dozens of incidents of hand-injured people. Although the victims refused to provide on-site surveillance at the time, they were all seriously injured without exception. Two men even became eunuchs. As you can see, these figures are not just objects as the creator group claims. They have thoughts. Through our investigation and personal testing, we finally concluded that these figures are completely objects with thoughts. A very powerful humanoid beast. They have their own ideas, and if their owners dissatisfy them, they will do it themselves. Quote. Tony Stark lowered his head and pursed his lips and snickered. Wu Lu had already explained this to him. In his opinion, those victims really deserved what happened. But since Lu Dan is going to plant a flag against Wu Lu, he has no reason not to watch the fun. The creation group is now prospering, with many talented people gathered together, and it can also combine science and magic. However, Stark, who is still the only one who plays the leading role, inevitably seems a bit weak and bleak. I heard that recently another doctor named Bruce Banner joined the creator group, which made Tony very unhappy. Nick, your analysis is correct. I agree with your opinion. There must be a big problem with this kid. We must arrest him for careful interrogation, but here comes the problem. Now that my Stark Industries has closed its weapons research and development department, 
Hammer Industries and a large number of our orders are provided by the Creator Group. I rely on this income as funding for research on a large number of SHIELD's equipment, so I hope you don't expand the attack range when dealing with him. The experts, professors, and scholars there are not only innocent but also geniuses. Quote. Certainly. Nick Fury smiled with satisfaction, and the biggest thorn in his side expressed his understanding. Peter Parker immediately followed. I am willing to obey Mr. Tony's arrangement. Mr. Tony, I am Peter Parker. I have admired you for a long time. This I researched this spider suit myself, can I work with you? Of course, after dealing with this evil guy, I will give you an entry test. Tony, I know your concerns. Today's creator group is a popular figure in the New York Department of Taxation, providing 35% of New York's tax revenue. Our goal is to control the ambition of this oriental man, and it is best to get the secret instructions to control those skilled figures. Now, the creator group has become a behemoth. It not only has the dog-headed monster Fenrir, but also an unknown number of coffee maids. These are very powerful combat forces. But luck was on our side this time. Tony, we found traces of Captain America in the Arctic Circle. He is probably not dead. Quote. Oh, you mean Captain America, who is a generation older than my father, Steve. That's right. Nick Fury said with a smile. In order to destroy the Red Skull's conspiracy, he crashed into the glacier with the Super Soldier Serum. According to our detection and instrument detection, there are still signs of life. We have to give it a try. Tony, can you take a trip? The captain's affairs must be flawless. I hope you can join Barton and Natasha Romanoff Coulson on this field trip to bring the captain back. Quote. No problem, I also want to see if this former legend has a perky butt like the legend. What about us? Peter Parker asked. You have more important tasks, Peter. Your father's teacher back then had a friend named Hank Pym. He was proficient in biology, quantum mechanics, mechanical artificial intelligence and other subjects. I want you to invite him over. Peter, the strength of the creation group far exceeds what you see now. If we don't have a sufficient number of geniuses to fight against it, we will never be able to win. Will he, come with me? God knows. Okay, I do. Director Nick, I am willing to perform this mission, can I join your Avengers? Of course, you all can join. Nick Fury smiled like a chrysanthemum, although among these people, only Peter and Shu Shaling were relatively powerful, and the rest were all street vigilantes. But this is a package promotion, and they are much better than ordinary people. I'm sorry, do I, want to participate too? I'm an ordinary person. Quote. Gwen, don't underestimate yourself. May, Natasha Romanoff, Coulson, and Hill are all ordinary people. I know that your academic performance is very good. You can work as a civilian here. Okay, but I can't promise you yet. I have to go back and ask my father. Certainly. This is a good habit. Don't be fooled easily. George is a knowledgeable and just guy. I believe he will give you the guidance you deserve. Quote. Thanks. Do you have any other questions? I've killed people. Erica's face was hesitant. I helped Kingpin do things for a while, the Firepin gang, and killed some innocent people. Is this okay? Of course, ma'am. As long as you make a decision and stop killing people at will, you are a good person. Quote. Are you a good person? Thank you, I am willing to join. We already know about Madripo Island. After Tony comes back with the captain, Madripo Island will be your first stop for training. What about the second stop? Wakanda. The prototype of an anti-Wulu alliance is gradually taking shape. Of course, Wulu doesn't know about this yet. Master, master, please save me. Fenner was sitting on the rooftop with his whole body on fire, and he was so anxious that he was getting angry. Fenner, what's wrong with you? Master, I went to look for the gangsters who planted the bomb. Guess what I saw? Shu Shaling, the master, and that fool were with them. The leader was a freak in a spider suit. He burned me with gasoline. Quote. Burn you. Wulu said with a smile. What is the nature of flame? It's just the energy of gaseous plasma. How dense is your body? As long as the density of the material is high enough, such a flame will not cause any damage to your body. Quote. It seems so. Fenner suddenly calmed down. Of course, if it wants to cause harm to you, it must be at least over 5,000 degrees. 
Have you forgotten what you have experienced? You are the king who has emerged from radiation. Oh. Fenrir felt the flames carefully and said in surprise. Master, they are indeed burning on my body surface. I came up with a good idea. I can ignite myself in future battles, and my power will be greatly increased. You are quite talented. How about fighting with those people? Master, it's my incompetence that didn't kill them. It doesn't matter whether we kill him or not. They are just a bunch of little kids who don't understand anything. They just need to teach you a lesson. Where is Xu Shaoling? She won't come back either. Yes, Master, Miss Xu Shaoling seems to have been brainwashed by them. Interesting. Wu Lu smiled. This is a good way to hone these little things. Fenrir, go ask Mindy and Wanda to come to my office. Okay, Master. Wu Lu returned to his office and called Jin Bin. Mr. Kingpin, I have a cooperation, I wonder if you are willing to do it. What cooperation? I want to send a few people to your place to intern for some time. My building was attacked by opponents today, and these people are very powerful and positive. I can't do anything to them directly. In return, our earlier plan can start now, and I will take people there soon. Great, Wu, I've been waiting for this day for too long. I thought that after you became rich, you would forget about this old friend of mine, Wu. I have made a promise to you as my friend. Quote. After hanging up the phone, Mingdi and Wanda came to Wu Lu's office together. Dad, what do you want from me and Wanda? That's right. Fenrir has figured out who attacked our building and has also fought with those people. Unfortunately, those people are not bad people. How can it be? Are they not bad guys and will plant a time bomb in our building? Dad, are you too kind? Who is it? Tell me and I'll blow their heads off. Lawyer Matt, Peter Parker, Xu Shaoling, Gwen, Erica you've met, and several other like-minded people. How so? Isn't Gwen your ex-girlfriend? He is going against his ex-boyfriend because of his current boyfriend. Is he crazy? And Sister Ling, she must have been deceived, I have to go find her. Mindy, listen to me. Someone replaced the five fingers of the hand with customized figures and re-ruled the hand. All customized figures are the highest end and safe products and cannot be traced back to their origins. So, as of now, we don't know who is behind it. So they thought that I would use these figures to replace the powerful people in the world and embark on the evil path of ruling the world, so they stood together against me. Mindy, do you think you can blow their heads off? Dad, if they want to hurt you, I will still do it. Wu Lu held Ming Di and Wanda in his arms, that's not how things happened. We have to find out who is behind the scenes. This is the most important thing. And the conflict between us and the defenders is most likely caused by the other party's deliberate intention. Caused. Therefore, before the truth is revealed, maintaining a hostile state with them to paralyze the mastermind behind the scenes is the most important step. Quote. My dear, do you mean to let us pretend to have a conflict with them? No, really fight. Life and death are determined by fate, wealth and honor are in heaven, and when the fake is true, the truth is also false. If you want to deceive others, you must first deceive yourself. I plan to send you both to Kingpin for an internship. He is professional in these things. Quote. Honey, what should I do? I know nothing. Quote. Wanda said helplessly, I'm not even as strong as ordinary people. Go and see people's hearts. Relax, dear, this is just a trivial military training, just a small fight. I want to help you too. Believe me, there will be a chance, soon. Mindy asked curiously, Dad, don't Sister Donna and Sister Helen go together? Helen's scientific research task has been scheduled for two months. Donna is not suitable for such an environment. You two are the most suitable. I will send Fenner and Otto to go with you. Don't worry, there will be no problem. Is Dr. Otto okay? Wu Lu smiled and said, let's go and have a look. Three people and one dog went to the medical department inside the creator building and met Otto who was undergoing rehabilitation training. How is it, Dr. Otto? Boss. Otto expressed surprise. I feel completely better now, even more flexible and smarter than before, but I feel weird. Boss, are these robotic arms really irremovable? Sorry, doctor, they are already closely connected to you. Once they are removed, it will cause immeasurable losses to your body. Dr. Otto, you know, you use a vibranium coating, which is resistant to all current medical devices, even the same vibranium material. 
but the good news is that they have no effect on you. However, I still have good news for you. Quote. Good news. What good news? We have found the person who planted the time bomb. Who? Who is it? I, Otto, have always kept aloof from the world. It is really terrible that anyone would have murderous intentions for a little-known professor like me. Quote. The Defenders. A group of young people who claim to protect world peace. They eliminate all enemies they consider a threat. Quote. Oh, my God. A group of idiots organize themselves into an alliance of idiots, and that's the beginning of extremes. Boss, I want to sue them. I'm afraid it's useless. They have lawyers, students, and the New York City police chief's daughter, as well as killers and corporate heirs. According to our intelligence, they have now joined the United Nations Special Agency. Legal means are of no use. Quote. Boss, what should I do? Yes, they must know that I have developed the fusion equation, and they want to take away my results. Yes, that's for sure. Quote. Otto looked excited. Boss, in addition to my mechanical talents, I have also researched and derived the fusion equation of static and moving earth, which can create an artificial sun. Boss, this is a great invention that is not inferior to Tony Stark's arc reactor. With it, the whole world will be shrouded in the sun, and we humans will have inexhaustible energy. Quote. Then why don't you make it? Well, Otto said with pain, Boss, I don't dare to build it, the earth is too fragile. If a suitable binding force field cannot be developed, it will ignite everything. Quote. Otto was a little nervous, fearing that the boss from the east would ask him for the fusion equation. Unfortunately, his worries were unnecessary. Even if Wu Lu wanted it again, he would not ask for it. These scientific researchers are all stubborn. If they don't want to give it, and you don't have their weaknesses, they won't give it to you at all. Drive Otto, that's not important right now. I'm going to ask you a question now. Quote. What? Drive Otto, are you willing to seek justice for yourself, even if you temporarily leave the camp of justice and law? I do. There is no such thing as a saint among scientists who can turn into villains. Otto agreed. Since justice can no longer be served, it makes no sense. We ourselves are righteous. Quote. Very good. Wu Lu nodded with satisfaction. Come with me, I will take you to a place. Kingpin Zhu. When Wu Lu's motorcade drove to the door, he was stopped by the huge billboard outside. Acquire all weird and weird creatures, the more exotic the creatures, the higher the price. When the guard at the door saw the motorcade arriving, he quickly laid out a red carpet, set off firecrackers and fired guns. As soon as Wu Lu got out of the car, he saw Jin Bin who had dressed himself up to look like a member and said speechlessly, Jin Bin, what are you doing? Wu, this is the highest courtesy I have heard from you in China. Please allow me to express my respect to you. Ha ha, thank you, Mr. Kingpin, but this is just a bad habit excavated by some monkey-like people. The real etiquette is the friendship between gentlemen and like-minded people. Don't play with these nonsense. Dr. Otto, Fenner, Mindy, Wanda, you all come down. Quote. After everyone came down, they were followed by two dark golden coffee maids. Entering the zoo, there is a dazzling array of animals from all over the world. Seeing the iron-eating beast Wulu was a little surprised. Where did you get this thing? Ha ha, I got this from the Memphis Zoo and spent a lot of money on it. I was almost tortured to death by those idiots. Fortunately, even if I found out and got it here, otherwise I might not have been able to get it. Quote. Jin Bin, you have done a good deed, and I will give you adequate reward. Wu Lu highly praised Jin Bing's good deeds. It needs fresh bamboo. I suggest you personally contact Washa. It will be good for you in the future. Wu Lu gave Jin Bing timely advice. Today's China is not very prosperous and needs adventurous and greedy guys like Jin Bing. I will, they are very interested in technology and semiconductors, I will smuggle a batch over. Come on, let me show you the good things I received. Oh, then my eyes will be opened. Quote. King General welcomed everyone into his luxurious living room and shouted, Smythe, bring my collection. Okay boss, boss Wu, just watch it. It will definitely open your eyes. After a short while, Smith dragged a heavy cart to the crowd, twisting and turning. The items on the cart were covered tightly with Persian blankets. Wu, please look. The kingpin pulled back the Persian rug, revealing the true form of the object. 
This is a huge amber that is 3 cubic meters square, and inside the amber are a bunch of dragon eggs of different shapes. One of the baby dragons has half of its head sticking out. It doesn't look like a vegetarian. Wow, this is it. Even though Wu Lu was used to big scenes, he was still shocked by the events in front of him. Boss Jin Bing, are you sure this is real? Of course, ha 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 ha, Smith has already tested the C-14 age on it. This thing is a serious ancient product. I spent a lot of money. How is it, is it useful? So useful. Kingpin, what do you want? Ha ha ha, I don't want anything. To put it bluntly, it is just a collection in my hands. It can only play its greatest role in your hands. I just want your friendship. A pleasure to work with. Wu Lu's hands were tightly held with Jin Bin's. Drive Otto, Fenrir, Mindy, Wanda, you should follow Mr. Kingpin during this period, and he will arrange it properly for you. Mr. Kingpin, Wanda and Mindy are both very important people to me. Mindy is a warrior, as strong a warrior as Erica, but Wanda is an ordinary person. I hope you can help her understand some humanity. Dr. Otto and Fenner are powerful warriors. Quote. Okay. Woo, thank you. I will keep an eye on them and take care of those little mice. Kingpin, I hope you can understand my intention. Wu Lu gave Jin Bin a look that could only be understood but could not be expressed in words. He needs to train the people he brings and ensure their safety, but he cannot explain this clearly. After talking, they knew that Kingpin would protect them, so all the arrangements lost their meaning, and they changed from actual combat to training. Don't worry, man. I know you. Jin is not a fool. On the contrary, he is an old man who understands the world. How could he not understand Wu Lu's thoughts? But these are harmless to him. Thank you. Wu Lu turned to ask, have you heard about the hand? I heard that Five Fingers has become active again recently. Has Mrs. Gao ever looked for you? No, but a lot of my business has been destroyed by them. Although these guys used to be very bad assholes, they didn't do things right, but now it's different. They never leave anyone alive. I heard that Mrs. Gao became serious and serious. Quote. They are under control now. I am not joking. You must be careful when dealing with them. Wu Lu solemnly said. Jin Bing, help me pay attention to their whereabouts and the hands they come into contact with. The five fingers on the hand are in danger now. This is a very difficult matter that you may not be able to handle at all, and we need to find the person behind this matter. Quote. No problem, keep it with me, I will notify you immediately as soon as there is any news. If they dare to trouble me, I'll put their heads in their butts. Quote. I have the latest news here. They are now going to find a scientist named Hank Pym. I hope you can sabotage their plan. It is best to win Hank Pym to our side. Before I determine your final strengthening plan, I will use Vibranium to build a close-fitting armor for you. This is my sincerity. Vibranium. One gram of Vibranium costs 10,000 United States dollars. Ha 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 ha, then I will thank you in advance. Quote. Wu Lu also told Fenner to protect Mindy and Wanda, and then drove back to the Creator Company with huge amounts of ancient amber. Oh my god, honey, where did this come from? Helen's eyes widened when she saw the huge amounts of ancient amber, is this a handicraft? If it were a handicraft, would I take it back so cautiously? Quick, Helen, call Connors and Doom, I'm going to call Tony Stark and let him see what good treasure I found. While he was talking, Zhao Hailun had already started to use an instrument to detect the age of the piece of amber. Looking at the year displayed on the instrument, tears of excitement flowed out. Oh my gosh, honey, this is priceless, do you know what that means? It means a kingdom of dinosaurs. Look, this is a nest of huge amounts of social oviraptors. The number of dragon eggs they stole is no less than 40, which means that there are at least hundreds of dinosaur genes hidden in this piece of ancient amber. It's a dinosaur kingdom. Why are there so many? With more than 40 original genes, through clonal crosses, their dominant and recessive genes will gradually appear in the offspring. Because of the ambiguity of reproductive isolation, their offspring will show the three genes of the paternal line, and three genes from the maternal line, that's six. So one kind can become six kinds. So that's close to 300 species. You can say that, but six of them are in the same lineage, similar to macaques, golden monkeys, six-eared macaques, this kind. Ouch. Hurry, go and ask them to come and take a look, I can't wait. 
The deserted Doom and Connors, who was devoted to studying lizard medicine, were also stunned when they saw the piece of amber, and their reactions were exactly the same as Zhao Hailun. Boss, which handicraft dealer produced this handicraft? So unprofessional. Whether it was the Cretaceous or the Triassic Jurassic, there was never any sign that Oviraptor was a social dinosaur, especially at such a large scale. What did they want to do? Are you holding an egg hatching conference? Connors complained and walked out. Boss, my research is at a very critical moment. I cannot leave for a moment. I must go back now. No, they are not crafts. They are alive. Doom closed his eyes and gently sniffed the scent of ancient amber stones in the air. These scents contained pheromones from ancient times. What? Dr. Doom, are you serious? Of course it's true, Dr. Connors. Helen has already tested it. It's completely a piece of amber from ancient times. I can't say exactly what era it is, but they are definitely real. How can this be? They are so alive. Dr. Connors couldn't believe it, and quickly stepped forward to scrape off some of it and analyze it with instruments. Oh, my god, this, this is incredible. This, boss, you are going to get rich. Ha ha ha, the lizard man, I want it study the dinosaurs. Boss, Mr. Tony is here. After Tandle brought Tony to the laboratory, he wisely left. Hey man, what the hell did you get that makes you so excited? Ha 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 ha, Tony, look, what is this? Wulu pulled Tony to show off affectionately, this is a piece of amber from ancient times. Oh, where did you get this thing? If you're willing to sell it to me, I'm willing to pay a big price. Ha 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 ha, Wulu was proud, Tony, many things cannot be measured with money. I know you are not very good at biology, but the value of this thing has already exceeded your imagination. It's a dinosaur kingdom. Okay, it seems you came here just to show off to me. But I have to remind you, I know the scientific research strength of your creator group, and it is very simple to clone them and regenerate these big guys. But the environment has changed. The climate and oxygen content on the earth now are very different from those in ancient times. A large amount of oxygen is solidified into other substances. It is difficult to imagine how these big guys can provide them with enough oxygen through their own lungs. Quote. Jealous, you are nakedly jealous. Wulu said indifferently, I can change the structure and power of their lungs. Even if it is a little different from the original state, it is definitely the highest degree of restoration. Tony spread his hands. Okay, I am indeed jealous. I should go. The black leader of S.H.I.E.L.D. has found something for me. As a friendly reminder, you have not noticed the black leader. He is concentrating his strength now. Prepare for a fierce showdown with you. Thank you, Tony, for not listening to his nonsense and treating me as a lunatic. Tony Stark is gone. Everyone fell into silence. It was obvious that the bad news brought by Tony Stark weighed heavily on everyone's hearts. Doom asked. Woo, what are you going to do? Connors was worried. S.H.I.E.L.D. is a violent organization of the United Nations that monitors major harm cases around the world. They are targeting us. It seems that they are coming with bad intentions. The production and sale of action figures and other crafts have been stopped. Except for the special coffee made we produced for ourselves, the rest of the production lines have been completely stopped. Produce new products. New product. Yes, did you see the green hair on Tony Stark's head? That thing is the botanical medicine I made, which can organically combine the photosynthetic components of plants with the human body, so that all humans will no longer die of hunger or be content with food. Everyone can choose the life they really want and promote a great leap forward in the civilization of the human world. Quote. Boss, ordinary people can't fight against the upper class elites. Even if they all support you, it's useless. In the US empire, this trick won't work. Moreover, if people are no longer starved for food, then the necessity of governments around the world will be greatly reduced, and you will become the target of public criticism. They will definitely strangle you as soon as possible. Yes. The strange circle of civilization. What limits civilization is always civilization itself, or human beings. Humans are a species that likes to be hierarchical, just like ants. If you want to deprive everyone of their hierarchies and make everyone completely equal, those people will be the first to jump out. But it doesn't matter, we just leave the key in the hands of most people. If civilization is truly equal, it can continue to exist. If it is false, it will disappear. As for targeting us, 
This medicine is not hereditary. Hiss. It is not hereditary, which means that the demand for this medicine is a continuous and never out of date product. If Wu Lu is eliminated, the future of mankind will be eliminated. Of course, I know that there will definitely be people who don't mind destroying me to continue to maintain the status quo, and I'm not sure whether my behavior will bring good or bad to the world. So I'm going to give the world a chance. Senior Doom, Dr. Connors, Dr. Helen, I plan to build three pharmaceutical warehouses, one in Europe, one in Asia, and one in the Americas. The three of you are in charge. We will release all the medicines produced one month later. If a certain warehouse is destroyed, it will be delayed by one week. If all three warehouses are finally destroyed, the plan will be cancelled. Quote. Boss, do you mean to make us the boss and be defeated by S.H.I.E.L.D.? That's right. Then why can't they be put together? Except for Ms. Helen, Dr. Doom and I are basically ordinary people. Quote. Wrong, apart from you, Senior Doom is a powerful mage. Senior Doom, what do you think? Interesting game, yes, I just had a bold idea recently, maybe I should start making my destruction armor. So, Senior Doom, you are in charge of the Asian pharmacy, Helen, you are in charge of the European pharmacy, and Dr. Connors, you are in charge of the American pharmacy. From now on, our creator group will focus on producing combat-type coffee maids. Senior Doom, please make a suitable suit of armor for Dr. Connors. Quote. No problem. After arranging everything, Wulu told Tandil to set up warehouses in various continents, and at the same time slow down the shipment speed of waiting hands. All production lines have been completely transformed to produce a large number of botanical pharmaceuticals. Shield. Colson and Peter Parker left separately. Pierce is discussing the latest developments of the creator group with Nick Fury. Nick, I heard from my agents that Wulu went to find King Bin once, and then he pulled a truckload of goods back to the creator group. Now, their chief secretary has flown to Asia to prepare to build a new warehouse. What do you think about this? There must be a conspiracy here. Are we just going to wait? Pierce was dissatisfied. Nick, you know how much pressure I was under to push you to the position of director. Now the creator group is doing big things. Many congressmen have that kind of waiting skills in their homes. The things even induce consumption. I really don't know how that eastern guy came up with such a genius idea. If we can absorb him, we won't have to worry about future funding. Quote. Pierce, I know I can't sit still and wait for death. But there is no manpower now. If you think ordinary agents are the opponents of the creator group, you can give it a try. Each of those customized dolls has the skills of a martial arts master. Quote. Nick, I heard that you recruited a new group of Avengers. Why not send them? Yes, there's even Shu Shaling among them. Pierce, they are very young, not as determined as we are, and do not have our foresight and overall view, so they are not suitable for this task. I don't want them to be rebellious before they see the cruel reality of society. What we are doing now is an unjust act and targeting the creator is only a concern for some people, but not for most people. The experimental results have come out. Almost all figures have no external signal sources, which proves that they will not be controlled by the creator group. Quote. Why almost? Nick Fury's face became even more ugly. Those customized figures can operate computers, mobile phones, and even telegraph machines. Oh, hell, I really don't know how that guy designed such a thing. It has the emotions of a creature and looks like a robot. Quote. Pierce was reluctant and said, Nick, council members are very concerned about this issue. Of course, I can understand your current situation, but we can't do nothing. Do you understand? Perhaps, Wakanda can take advantage of it, whether it is legal means or inciting hatred, this is a good target. Don't these savages think that their own technology is too difficult to take the first place? Then it's time to give it a try. Quote. Nick Fury looked gloomy and pondered for a moment. Okay, this shouldn't cause them any loss. Pierce, you will be in charge of S.H.I.E.L.D. for the time being. I will go there myself to protect those young people. Quote. Don't worry, Nick, don't forget, I've been working in this position longer than you. After Nick Fury explained his plans, he went to the hangar and personally piloted the Quinjet and flew to the sky. He was going to Wakanda to seek help from the Black Panther. Wakanda. In the palace, everyone was crying. 
The mournful music sobs, and the plain white sails hang high. The Wakandans are using their own unique rituals to pay homage to the dead old king. Su Rui, Hunter, and a young black man stood in the center of the crowd and read a long memorial poem. There were bursts of screams in the sky, interrupting the peace of Wakanda. Su Rui, another intruder has entered. I'm going to blow him up. Brother, this is not an intruder. This is a shield plane. My father had friendship with them before he was alive. When White Wolf Hunter heard this, he said coldly, Suri, I don't like these outsiders. I will avenge my father. I will leave this person to you and T'Challa to receive him. After today's work, I'm leaving. If you have an emergency in the future, call me. Hunter, I'll go with you. T'Challa's eyes turned red. I also want to avenge my father with you. You, Hunter said disdainfully, you should be your king of Wakanda, I don't want anyone to hold me back. After saying that, White Wolf Hunter put on his own armor and left silently. T'Chaka is dead, and all rituals are superfluous to him. He is just here to pay his last respects. Looking at Hunter's retreating back, Su Rui sighed. Let's go, brother, brother Hunter is right, you are too weak now, even if you are not qualified to be the king of Wakanda. Tisk. Ha hu. The Quinjet landed outside the palace under the gaze of the Wakandans, and everyone breathed a sigh of relief when they saw a black one-eyed dragon walking out of the plane. This complexion makes them feel at ease. Nick Fury looked at T'Chaka who was about to be cremated, and stumbled a few steps towards him, his eyes red and tears streaming down his face. As the king of agents, this acting skill is easy for him. Old man, why did you just leave? Didn't you ignore our original oath to maintain world peace together? I remember back then, howling commandos, you and I were partners in life and death, but now you have been assassinated. Quote. Nick Fury walked as he spoke, and soon came to Shu Rui and T'Challa. Princess Su Rui, the last time I saw you, you were just a two-year-old child. In the blink of an eye, you have grown so big. Director Nick, it was me you saw last time. T'Challa interrupted Nick's sensationalism, my father died resisting the invasion. He was worthy of our Black Panther oath. Director Nick, come here. Nick Fury is not embarrassed to be exposed. Yesterday, I saw the plight of Wakanda on the internet and applied to the United Nations Council for Humanitarian Assistance overnight. As soon as it was approved, I came over to express my condolences to my good brother. Director Nick, you know we don't need these things in Wakanda, we are rich. If you can, I want you to help us take revenge and raise the creator group to the ground, as well as those winter soldiers. Director Nick, you must know where those winter soldiers are. Right. Well. Nick Fury was at a loss for words. Before he even started cheating, he was choked by T'Challa. Director Nick, can we talk about this later? My father is still waiting to leave. Su Rui saw that Nick Fury had ulterior motives, interrupted their conversation, and continued the ceremony. It wasn't until the sun set in the afternoon that T'Chaka turned into ashes in a burst of flames. Seeing that Nick Fury had no intention of leaving, Su Rui had no choice but to bring him to the palace. At the end of the dinner, Nick Fury finally revealed his purpose. Prince T'Challa, Princess Shuri, and I also want to avenge King T'Chaka, but the creator group is not simple. Its current tax revenue is indispensable to the New York government. So apparently no one will deal with it. When I come here this time, I want to ask you to prosecute them for illegal war crimes and reveal the true face of the creator group. Quote. Director Nick, does this really work? I don't think it is any different from your American arms company. Will those congressmen deal with the creator group because of the losses of our Wakandan people? Don't worry, Princess Su Rui, if someone else is suing, those congressmen may ignore it. But Wakanda is different. You have money and technology, and you are a more reliable partner than the creator group. Those Asians have never been trustworthy. You know. Quote. Okay, I'm willing to try. Then we need some time to prepare a large company in New York, and we in Wakanda also need to determine the candidate for the throne. Director Nick, are you willing to give us some time? Quote. Of course, Princess Shuri. I admire your wisdom. King T'Chaka gave birth to a pair of good children. Thanks. Nick Fury achieved his goal and said goodbye. At the same time, the goddess of victory in the sky also transmitted the video information of Nick Fury's meeting with Shu Rui back to the creator building. In the underground laboratory, 
Dr. Doom was tailoring a smart armor for Connors, and Wulu also thoughtfully prepared the, Super Soldier Serum Tanya version, for him. Almost instantly, Dr. Connors got it from a hand a researcher with no power becomes a superhero. The armor with vibranium shell, combined with various scientific weapons and its own strength, combined, even the current Tony Stark is no match. Drive Connors, now you go and produce four alpha-level coffee maids for yourself. Only four. Boss, is it too little? The alpha-level coffee maid is a regular model, a combat maid using an ordinary super-strong titanium alloy shell. Although it is also very powerful, it is only 80% Winter Soldier level. There is also a level called Beta Level Coffee Maids. They are powerful maids with vibranium coating as armor and memory metal as skin. Their combat power exceeds that of ordinary superheroes, and they can almost be regarded as surface level existences. As for a more powerful model, it is the Gamma Level. There is no one yet, but the, Goddess of Victory, is one. Connors, if you take any more, you will be bullying others. Wu Lu is preparing for the upcoming interstellar war, rather than actually killing anyone, so he is very particular about everything and will generally not kill anyone except when dealing with real villains. Senior Doom, do you want to make your destruction armor now? No, it will take two days to get the results. This morning I made six drawings, corresponding to the six design directions, main defense, main attack, main technology, main magic, combination of science and magic, combination of magic and science. I am interested in these the drawing casts divination numbers. It will take two days to know which armor is the best choice for me in the future. Quote. Wu Lu wanted to say something else, but suddenly he heard a beep sound, and a video was synchronized to the underground laboratory. Quote dot dot dot. Prince T'Challa, I am also very angry, but the creator group is not simple. Nick Fury appeared in front of everyone with his vivid expression and his meticulous way of bewitching them. Doom, Connors, and Helen Zhao all had wonderful expressions on their faces. They were indeed preparing to take action against the creator group. We cannot sit still and wait for death. We must increase our strength and increase our influence as soon as possible. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and support our channel.